Shit! <laughs> Stop knocking out my son. <laughs> I just want to give out a play. God damn, I'll make this quick. Because I still got to go to the bank. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? I'm sick about this. Jesus Christ. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all some troopers. I appreciate y'all. For real. Because y'all pulling back up every single time. They trying to hate on me. Y'all are pulling back up every time. Fucking. Y'all are pulling back up every time. I appreciate it. Because y'all know I'm about to walk this through step. By step, you can you can literally take this to the bank and cash it. Literally, share this live out. I'm not. I'm supposed to go into the bank. I'm probably gonna end up not going in. Although I am, I ain't gonna lie. Yo, AC, I'm about to. I'm about to. It's been tw it's been twenty years. Twenty years. Twenty years. And now when I need my service, they only let me down. If you got Verizon, go ahead, give me a Verizon bump. 20 years and they want to start acting emotional now like niggas got time for that i ain't got time for that i ain't got time for that they hating all right we back up we got 20 get it get it up to 20 so i can start talking about this play if you got a friend that has a business if you have a friend that has a business if you have a friend that has a business or they selling t-shirts out their trunk or they selling they selling homemade lotions out their house Send this to them right now. I'm like, yo, she going to teach you how you get these tax write-offs. She going to teach you how to get these tax write-offs. Do it right now. She going to teach you how to get these tax write-offs. If you got a friend that has a business, if you have a friend that has a business, they either selling t-shirts out the hatchback of their truck or they've been making homemade lotions in the sink or... They've been stitching baby socks at the crib or they into art and they've been not, they have not set themselves up properly. Go ahead, go ahead and go ahead and send this live to them. Let's get this to 20 people. Then we're going to talk about opening this business bank account. We're going to talk about opening this business bank account. All right, we're going to talk about opening this business bank account. So if you have a friend, if you have a friend that has, if you have a friend that has, uh, 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 here we go, we had 20. All right, bet. So here we go. Now, you already did the live. We did the live. We did the live on how to create your LLC, what to do. You got your landing page. You got your I'm so official email, not at Gmail, at whatever your business name is. You bought that domain for like 12 bucks at, at Google Domains or GoDaddy or whatever. You was not being cheap with your business. Then you went, yo, where was Fargo at? Then you went, oh shit, oh shit. Then you went and got your virtual address so the banks ain't gonna go and look up your house. As your as your business joint, right? You can go get that from like iPostal, Da Vinci, Regis, or whatever the hell you want to choose, right? Then you went and got yourself an LLC off Ink Authority or Zen Business or whatever platform you want to choose. You can also do it yourself, though. You can also do it yourself if you wanted to, right? So now you're like, okay, I got my papers. They sent me some documents. They sent me an EIN. They sent me some article papers. You're going to take those two documents and you're going to bring them to a bank. You're going to take those two documents, you're going to bring them to a bank. And you're going to say, I want to open receipt. up this bank account. A file and receipt as well. A file and a receipt is very important. A file and receipt. So a file and receipt you can get with Incator, you can get with LegalZoom, whoever. But you can get that if you're doing it yourself as well. A file and receipt is very important as well, um, especially when you're going for these credit cards and these loans if you're applying in bank. They look for that primarily. Bet, got that right. So now you gonna take yourself over to eat some of these credit unions we've been telling you about, and you're gonna get them those documents, and they're gonna open you a checking account, and you're gonna put money in there. That's it. <laughs> That's yep. it. As simple as that. 
Now, when they clients have to pay you or you get a processor like Stripe or PayPal or whatever you use to process your payments, your money will go straight into your business bank account. It's not going to go into your personal account because you're not conducting personal stuff. You're conducting business. business. You've officially separated yourself from your business. So when you collect money, it goes there. When you got to pay something, you pay from there. Do not pay from your personal checking account because you're now separating personal from business. I'm, I'm with the big dog, Mitch, today. Yo, what up, Mitch? What's up, Mitch? How you doing? How you doing? Mitch is all about the trucks. He's, he's the kingpin of trucking. King, yo, super kingpin. Big Mitch. Big Mitch. <laughs> 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 All right, Tevin. Tevin, you owe me a big. You owe me a business play from yesterday. From yesterday, what? What, yeah. I, what I did? What I did to deserve this? You owe me one from yesterday. Are you sure? Are you sure you ready for it though? Yes, we been ready. Y'all ready for Tevin's play? Because Tevin, Tevin is like, he's like a deposit slip. Okay, that that check always cash. <laughs> nah, I don't that, know. I don't know. Don't bounce. Ready. I don't, I don't know, know about they... y'all checks, but Kev Kevin checks don't bounce. I don't, I don't know if they're ready right now. I, I'm Kevin, can we talk for a minute? <laughs> yes. <laughs> can get, you just tell talk. me? We need to know. They want to know the banking place. They got their business bank account open. They done put some money in there because they stopped they stop selling T-shirts out the hatchback and putting out the, the, hatchback. the hatchback money. Not they stop the putting the hatchback money in their... Uh, <laughs> In they in a personal checking account in a pocket trying to skim the government on taxes, they stopped doing that. So now, now they want to know how to get some more money. Not the hatchback though. <laughs> <laughs> the hatchback. Oh man, what's up, y'all? This is uh, my name is Tevin. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Y'all can hear me, right? Yeah. So my name is Tevin. Uh, I'm from Essential Navy Seed Solutions. Yeah. Tevin Facey. So, you know, I, I, I focus primarily on business credit. I have a business credit program coming. Uh, I know a lot of people have been watching me on She the Three Lives. I've been trying to put a little bit lives myself. She, she's actually been opening me up to do more lives. So I, I really do appreciate her. But yeah, man, yo, business credit is really important. And the banking play that I got for y'all today, if you have a bank, right? I, I mean, if, sorry, if you have a, a, a business, you're two years over on that business. Um, you can actually do business credit cards with them too as well. It don't matter if you one month, one day, one week old. They'll give you up to up to 50000 on the business credit card. But the, the business bank that I have that's beautiful is called Signature Federal Credit Union. They give up to 100 k Actually, they, up to 100 k on a, on a, on a no-doc, you can go more than that. And line of credit, they give up to about 150000 But your business credit has to be in order. Your personal credit has to be in order. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. I just gave you 200000 You said signature? Signature Federal Credit Union. Signature federal. Where the hell is that shit? Yo, where do you find these fucking? Hey man, I do what I do. How y'all can't, can't hear him? Y'all can't hear him? him? I can hear him just fine. You can't hear me? Can somebody type it in the chat? I'll pin it. Hold up. I can hear you. I I don't know. Hold up. I can hear you just fine. Right. And I can hear I you heard that play. I heard that play so much. I want you to run it back. <laughs> Cause it's saying it's saying people. It's just saying. I, I think that's that one person. Although you know, even, shit with me, AT and T likely they likely to they likely to be like, oh, um, you're giving out game. Let's turn off your sound. <laughs> I see the joins. I don't see. I don't see where people is actually writing though. That's the crazy. I got part. somebody to write it. They wrote it. I'm about to pin it right now. All right, Who, cool. You run it back again. So sig so signature federal credit union, right? Signature federal credit union. On a no doc loan, but this is where this is where business credit is very important. On a no doc loan, they'll give you up to a hundred thousand. 
your business make credit. Sure you, you, make sure you tell them what no dog means. Sometimes they don't. We, we gotta so, we gotta make sure everybody understand all the parts. So so no doc loan means you can go in there with your like we said file a receipt, your EIN paperwork, your articles of organization. Um, certain banks they they ask for additional requirements just because sometimes they feel like they're either fraudulent or they just want to ask for more just to be extra, right? So no doc loan means all of that paperwork you just gave, they are not asking you for anything else. They are not asking for your business tax returns. They're not asking you for your personal, ask for your statement. They're not asking where your granny live, but they will ask you to personal guarantee it, meaning that your personal credit has to be in order, meaning you have to be at least a 700 and above. Your average years on your credit cards has to be at least three years or two years and your average credit limit has to be more than $5,000, right? And you have to have at least two accounts. That's your primary. Primary meaning not an authorized user, not a trade line, nothing. It has to be, you have to have some type of primary credit. You cannot go in there with a 50 trade lines and no primary and talk about, yo, can I get this? They're going to say no. Your business credit has to be in order. Business credit has to be in order. You have to have at least six to eight trade lines. Um, the the average on the amount for the trade line doesn't matter, uh, but I always like to say at least if you can have a trade line in there that's at least ten thousand or more, or five thousand or more, that's perfect because it, it at least shows that you're able and, and 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 competent enough to pay back your bills no matter what, right? And and for business credit, they look at that. They look at the years. And um, I, I already said the accounts, but yeah. So th th those are those are the two things they will look at for your business credit. So now with the no doc loan, like I said, they don't ask for no statements, they don't ask for no tax returns, they don't ask you for profit and loss, nothing. So with that, you can go in and you can apply. And with the applying for the no doc loan, they'll just put in the information, put in your your credit and everything like that. You go ahead and apply. If everything is in order, depending on if the if the relationship banker likes you, they'll approve you. And that's why. And and, and she just, she did, she was saying that you have to have these relationships. It's important. For me, I like to go sit down. I like to go sit down in front of in front of these people and let them know, like, look, I'm me. I like to. I, I like that thirty minute conversation. That's me, Tuck. That's a hundred percent fact. Just go and build some relationships. Relationships when it comes to business is everything. It's going to determine. It's going to determine if your account get approved. To be honest, no bullshit. This happened to me, right? I was in the city one one um one day, and I was being bullied by my friends, right? And when I mean bullied, I don't mean like in a bad way. I mean like. They be like, yo, you still ain't, you still ain't do that. You still ain't open that other business account yet. Like, you still ain't apply for that card yet. You still ain't make that. Like, they bully me in ways that you know we talk about making money moves. And if I if I move too slow, they're like, yo, why you why you slow footed? Like, they're abusive that way, which is good. That's beautiful. But it's it's still it's still a big. You know, I be like, all right, yo, I got yo chill. Like, yo, <laughs> I, I will I will yo, we gonna fight. Bro, but not really. So. I literally, you know what, F it. I'm already in the city. I'm going to go ahead. And this was like maybe like two months ago. I'm like, I'm already in the city. To be honest, we was drinking. It was a good day. And I was like, you know what, F it. I'm going to just go um, open up this account. They was like, nah, go. Go walk and find a bank. You in the city, go walk and find a bank. I did walk. I walked. I walked past three banks. I said, all right, I'm going to open Bank of America. I sat in Bank of America. They was blowing up my phone that day. Like, yo, you in the bank for real? You lying? You lying? I'm like, nah, I'm, yo, like, I went to open the account. So I went, I'm in there, and the banker that helped me, we end, I ended up sitting there for like 45 minutes to an hour. On God, mm -hmm. she opened up the account. She asked me for my EIN and my um, articles. I gave it to her. That's the last information she asked me for. She filled out the whole application herself, even probably filled in, like, what I did. She yep. asked me what it was for. I'm like, when I retail business, she put in all the numbers herself. She come to find out after we was talking, building a relationship. Mm -hmm. She come to find out she went to school at my rival school. So I went to Marshall. She went to WU. We had a connection right there. 
Right. So when I would make a Marshall reference, she knew exactly what I was talking about. She did the whole application. She said, she said to me right then and there, you want a credit card too? I said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I applied for the credit card, got approved right then and there, 8000 Not playing. A week later, a week later, after talking with another one of my friends, they like, yo, Bank of America will give you another credit card with that same inquiry. Go run it back. I'm like, word? Mm -hmm. They like, yeah. I call her right back. I go, hey, hey, Christine, it's Rashida. She goes, hey, how are you doing? I go, yo, um, I didn't say yo, but I said, hey, I wanted to know, would I be able to open another credit card? Um, I wanted to see if I could have two. She said, okay, let me go ahead and process this. Shorty didn't even know that I could get two cards in one inquiry because she said, we might have to hit you with another inquiry. I'm like, that's okay, because one, I know how to get it up. I'm like, that's okay. Um, just see if I get approved. She said, no problem. She did the app. She sent me the form online for me to sign. I did that shit while I'm driving in the car. I'm always doing shit in the car. Oh, God, I, I think I do every deal in the car. So I'm like, okay. She goes, um, she goes, okay, no problem. Yo, five minutes later, congratulations, you've been approved, 9,500. Say what? Yep. A relationship. Relationship. I'm telling you, and, and, and even, you know, speaking on that, the 100,000, you know, y'all know, know the story in the Discord and everything, but the 100,000 that I got from M&T Bank, was strictly relationship based. Like, there's no if ands or buts about it. Like, and and like, I got the I got forwarded the email. Right, I'm not even really supposed to say it, but I got forwarded the email. And in the email of her going back and forth with the underwriter, she's saying, "Look, this client was referred by another business that already opened up in, and and got a hundred thousand from you guys. So, you know, if he's referring." That means that it's good. He's good. There's no fraud. Somebody, and somebody, somebody vouched for you. Exactly, and she vouched for me as the vice president of the branch. As the vice president of the branch, meaning she helps control that branch. Majority of the time, the presidents aren't really in the branch, but the vice president of the branch is telling the people that yo, this is not fraud, and I'm vouching for him. I sat down and had a conversation with her. If I did not do any of this. I would not have that hundred thousand that I have in my bank account now. And it's don't try to pull up on time because it's insurance on everything. So don't. Facts. So I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. It's relationships. All right. I'm gonna tell y'all right now. People gonna try you. People are going to try you. They are yep. going to try you. And your whole demeanor has to be calm because it's relationships. Honest, yeah. honest to God, I've opened up three more BOA accounts on the phone. Yeah, in the car. Yeah. And and technically, you're not supposed to do that. If we talking, you're not supposed on to do that. On the phone. On the phone. In the car. <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. So if you're trying to open, if you're trying to open this Bank of America account, I suggest you go ahead. I will go to a branch and build a relationship first, but I'll yeah, open them up. Yeah, the small business. I open them banker. up in the car all the time. Yeah, small business bankers, they 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 will help you. And especially once you like if I'm gonna give another story, today, small business, I went I went into inside my Bank of America where I got my money, my big money. I put it in there. I went to the banker today, right? I'm I'm I'm, I'm going for a, a loan with them. Um and you know, he's talking with me and stuff like that. I can't share too much details about the loan and stuff like that. But as far as the relationship talk we had, he's like, yo, I'm not even supposed to be telling you this. But before pandemic, we were giving out, remember I said no doc loans earlier? They were giving out no doc loans for 150 to 200,000. Pre-pandemic, his brother works in Chase as a Chase private client, small business banker. They were giving out 250 on a no doc loan before pandemic. And guess what the interest rates were? Three to five Low. percent. Three to five Get percent. Get the fuck. Hold yeah. on. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, nah, you can't. You're not serious. Yeah. Yep. When you go for Will, Will X, yeah. When you go for BOA, when you go for BOA in the business and they ask you right away to open up that credit card. <laughs> So BOA yep. is going to pull from TransUnion. Make sure they're going to peek at your TransUnion if you PG in it. 
So make sure that mm-hmm. your trans union report is solid. If it's trash, don't do that. Mm-hmm. If it's trash, don't do that. So you go be yep. a way branch. Yeah, go be a way branch. Build a relationship. Be a nice guy. Be the sweetest guy in the world. You are a business owner. You're trying to figure it out. You know, you're, you're learning exactly what to do. You have funds. Drop 5000 in there when you first go in there. Yep. Drop 5000 start- in there when you first go in there. And when you start putting money into these banks, they t- they 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 change your statuses without you knowing. Bank of America, you, I, I, I got a hundred thousand. I'm a platinum honors awards person. They right know. Now. Yep. Get and, and get approved. What? Come back. Ask for another card. You don't have to come back when you nope. do it. You can apply for two because they're gonna give you that. They, if they approve you for one, they're gonna give you another one. No inquiry. Yep. And guess what? They got Sorry, not no inquiry. Not no inquiry. Not no inquiry. Yeah, not no inquiry. One, one, inquiry. one inquiry for two mm-hmm. cards or even three cards. Yep. And 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 with and with you being at certain tiers, once you start to move up in the business realm, the cashback card, the new cashback card they got, that's one point five. That one point five? As a platinum honors, I get two point five. My Unlimited? my cashback goes up. Yep. Unlimited? Unlimited on everything. Unlimited 2.5? Yep. Stop as a platinum honor, as a platinum honors reward member, once you got a certain amount of money in their bank, they will upgrade you. And once you get upgraded, your credit card. I did hear that about BOA. Yep. I did hear that about BOA. I'm going to. Um, I can log in right now. I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all the platinum honors joint. Now, I, I they, know. They, I need to call her. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody said, what's the payback on the loans? He said 3 to 5%. I want the credit cards, no loans. We want both. We want the whole thing. Give me something low interest. Was on a Zoom call. She had three. Um, oh, and somebody asked me earlier how to get on the credit to cash call. In my link, I got a class at 730 you trying to learn how to flip these cards? you trying to learn how to flip these cards? you trying to learn how to flip these cards? Get this get this cash? Trying to learn how to take yep. these trips? So you can stop. Yep. So you can stop stalling on shorty for why you can't go on vacation. To be honest, I'm I'm trying to go to Bermuda in the next three weeks. Preferably less than that. I want to take a weekend off, but I did promise, I did promise my students that we were going to. Uh, we're gonna take an MS field trip out out here. So I did promise I'm gonna take an MS field trip. So I cannot dip that weekend. But I'm going to Bermuda, and I'm gonna tell you exactly how much I pay for. It. And I promise you, it probably won't be more than a hundred dollars for two people. For two people, this is for business credit Jeez. cards. Yes, this is for BOA. BOA business credit cards. BOA free ole. I'm going. You're not coming. <laughs> look, 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 look what that say. What that say on the top? That say platinum honors, right? Can you see it? Wait, wait, oh, you tapping damn. screen. You tapping screen. Hold up, hold up. Oh no, it says preferred. Class yesterday up, was up, fire. Up. I'm telling y'all, y'all saying take the class, go into my bio, go into the link tree in my bio. It says group call credit to cash. There's two spots left for tonight. Group call credit to cash. Class was fired. I promise you they didn't expect what they was getting. You thought you signed up for something, and you got an explosion. After three hours, they like, yo, there's more? But, oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> what that say? Platinum honors. <laughs> I got to go drop a yep. hundred in that bank account. They don't play. My interest, my interest rates is crazy once I get the platinum honors. My interest rate, I, yo, it's it's insane. It's insane. I get an extra zero point three five percent on auto loans, meaning that that they take off an extra zero point three five percent on real estate loans. They already only give you like one point. On they already they already only give you like one point. It's like one point nine nine. BOA yep. pulls from TransUnion. So if your TransUnion is trash, if it's not like 720 and above, you have derogatories on there, do not apply for BOA because they will give it to you if the utilization is below 5 or 10. If it's below 10 and it is um, and your TransUnion is clean, they will give it to you. This is where you got to learn how to grow your limits. 
organically without asking because they'll also give you the uh they'll also give you the bag yeah they ask me how much is the class the class the class is one thousand four hundred ninety seven dollars fourteen ninety seven and I promise you it's worth every penny. Matter of fact, one of my students is here. I know. I know you're not talking. I know you're not talking B.O.A. I know you're not talking B.O.A. without me. That's late. I know you're talking to you. Did you get the B.O.A. card yet? Nah, I spoke to them about it today. Yo, they invited me to the B.O.A. class. Yo, they invited me to the B.O.A. class. I might have to kick you out. Yeah, kick me out, kick me out, kick me out. Your joint, dumb loud. All right, I'm out. What is that? Where he at, bro? Where you at? He probably in the, he probably in the spot trying to get some food right now. Bro, I had some fire. I had some fire. I had some fire ass, fire ass jerk chicken today. But like, it was like, yo, I'm telling y'all that call. You know when you know when you yo, know I'm something, but when you start, I. You cut off. No, no, I'm here. I'm here. You said something? Oh. So no, you know I when you know I'm something up, and then when you the, explain the it that you, that you, earn you explain it. There yeah, you go. You know when you know when you you know when you know something, right? You know when you know something and then like it's different to when you see people's reaction to what you know. Like I know I, I've been learning so much stuff. I have to. I can't keep everything in my head. I'm not gonna lie. My head is big, but I can't store everything in here. And I, I learned so much that I've been implementing. I've been taking my notes. I'm like, all right. If I had to explain this to my seventh grade class, would they understand it? So to be honest, sometimes I talk to them about the stuff I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna teach y'all. And I'm like, did you get that? And they're like, so if I do this, this, and that, I could do this. And I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, I get it, Mr. Ricas. I'm like, bet. My, they, if they get it, y'all gotta get it. And I'm like, yo, oh yeah, my students gonna be some savages. I'm gonna tell you that right now. My students, any class, any kid that comes through my math class, gonna be a savage. When they pay attention, not the one. There's this guy that been back. He be twisting up his hair. He he does a dread style in his in his hair every day in class. I don't. Maybe not him. Maybe I don't know. I don't want to discriminate. But <laughs> that class, I'm telling y'all, and the ebook is dropping today. Ebook link is dropping. I'm gonna come back on live again, like right before the class, to tell y'all that the ebook is dropping. I might even give y'all five minutes of the class. Oh, come on, people, them. I might even give y'all five uh, minutes of the class. Oh, you giving? Oh, you giving them a sneak peek? Five minutes. You giving them? I a might even give oh, y'all five, so five minutes you, of the class. You sprinkling in a little jerk sauce. You sprinkling in a little jerk sauce for them? That's what, you're not even barbecue. giving them the chicken. You're not you even the giving them jerk. the chicken. The barber jerk. Oh. Yes, that's yes. what they call it. The barber jerk. That's what they Jamal, call it. Jamal. Barber jerk. I said barber jerk. That's what the Jamaican do call it. Barber jerk. What are you? What? So, and the book coming out. It's it's it's. Dry. I literally it's done. I'm waiting for it to send me the link. You trying to send my? Yo, honestly, I might go back oh. and do it. My mom used to have a school when I was growing up. She used to have a school when I was growing up. You you gotta see this bozo in front of me. She's such a bozo. I don't know. People drive crazy. People look, look, look. She fiending to be in the intersection. You gonna tear up the side of this man's car being a fiend? It's crazy. All right. So Ke Tevin then gave y'all. Where the way? Yeah, Tevin I gave y'all two banks. Wait. He gave y'all two banks already. Now you got me stuck here because you wanted to be a dummy. Jesus. Tevin gave y'all two banks. He gave y'all Signature Federal Credit Union. I had it pinned. I don't know where it went. Can y'all retype it for me so I can pin it again? He gave y'all signature Federal Credit Union. What was the other one? I didn't give two. I was talking about the BOA. I was giving, I was talking about the BOA. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, opening BOA over the phone, but going to build a relationship. So somebody type yeah. for me. Somebody type for me signature Federal Credit Union. And then it's, uh, right next to it, a comma, build a relationship with these banks. Yes. BOA, TransUnion. If you could do that for me so I could pin that. Very, very, very important. I'm telling y'all, people, people will like you. I got a, I got a banker at check. Let me, let me go. Let me go stupid. You know what you and your stupid earring? You a grown ass man. With a damn poop. Sorry. All right. He just did the most for no reason. I'm sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> He's grown as hell. Got his damn eyebrows oh, done. Get out of here. All right. Yes, build a relationship with these banks. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Under Construct. It, Monday, under Instruction. Damn, that was a stutter. <laughs> Bet. Here we go. Signature Federal Credit Union. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Go ahead and open up these banks Very and get it going. Build these relationships. Very important. Build these relationships. Mm -hmm. All right. If you can get a bank, if you, and sometimes to be honest, to be honest, Sometimes these bankers and you start you start getting them talking. Oh yeah, they tell, tell you. Yeah, they'll tell you. Mm -hmm. They'll they, you th the information we're getting is because we got them talking and now we know. Because sometimes yep. they'll tell you, especially if they like you, they'll tell you anything you want to know. And not only that, when they see your face, when they see like, and, and if we not even, if we going beyond the talking, once they see your face again and on a recurring, on a recurring basis, like they, they know you, they see your face. They, everybody, they open up checking accounts for, they'll see, they know who you are. They see your face. So they'll, they'll light up because guess what? They're in a the bank. They're, they're, they're sitting down at their cubicle, the, the cubicle or their office or whatever. And every day they're just doing the same thing consistently. So when they see their reoccurring clients and they see the people come back, they, they light up. Oh, hey, what's up? They, probably, they might not remember your name. Might not. But if they do, that's even perfect. But if they don't, it's the, it's the fact that they see your face and they see you coming back to actually continue upon the relationship that you have started. Remember, it's Build a that relationship. Thing up. Yeah, we, we not associates. This isn't a relationship. I'm, I'm in bed with you now. I done took you to dinner. I don't he done, he done caress you. He done caress you. Right. I don't caress the thigh on the way to dinner. On the way back, you know. He done, he done, so, he done brought you some ice cream, so now you comfortable. Right. Can you I send got them you the ice cream. I warmed Make up sure the it's cookies. No THC. I warmed up the cookies, you know what I'm saying, with the ice cream. Put it with the ice cream. I got the chocolate make sure chip they, melting make out. Make sure they're not infused. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Cash, you here? Cash, Cash, you here? Is Cash you you here, Cash? You oh, here, Cash? Man. Yo, why the hell? L listen, why the hell? I'm a, such a bozo, right? I'm such a bozo. In my head, I know I could do a wire on the computer, but I haven't done it. I'm about to pull you up, Cash. I haven't done it. So things that I have not done myself, sometimes I don't feel comfortable doing it, right? So I've been I've been having to wire this friggin' this money for like friggin' three days, cash money. Cash um, money. And I just learned I just learned I could do it on the app. She was like, "No, why did you come all the way down here?" I said, "Well, I tried to call Wells Fargo and y'all MFers had me on hold for forty five minutes and I have to go live at four seventeen. So y'all made me late." <laughs> and she said, "Oh no." She said, "Are you on live right now?" I said, "Yes." Uh. She said, "Okay, look, look, that's what you want to do." And she wrote it down for me. She said, "You go online." What a little paper I had. See? She wrote down for me what, what I'm supposed to do. I said, for real? She said, yeah, it's that easy. She said, if anything, you could call us back tomorrow. Call here, and we'll make sure we answer the phone for you so you're not on hold for 45 minutes for no reason. I said, look at that. Look at Relationships. God. Look at God. And I bet you she could see me smiling through my mask. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, cash money. Hi. Cash, cash money. We're going we gonna to talk about... You got to give a plate, Cash. Matter of fact, you know what I want you to give? Because I have to work on it myself, being like being good at it, because I feel like I do it haphazard, and like I roll through it, and that's why I hate doing it. How do you set up your DUNS? What is a DUNS number, and how do you set that up on their site? There you go. So... Okay, because my first DUNS number, I didn't even have to set up. I don't know. God was looking out. They did one for me. That's what happened to me. I, <laughs> I woke up, this shit was there. Oh, nah. and they God like, was Yo. not looking out for me. I had to go set God, my joint up. My class is at 7.30. It's at 7.30 <laughs> tonight. It's at 7.30 tonight. It's, it's at 7.30 tonight. Tonight. Um, yes, I'm going to be on there. Seven th Listen, y'all be thinking. My friends be tapping in. And I, I'm, they not free friends. Exactly. They're not free friends. Um, so, so you're done because first of all, they know I don't give away no none of my goodie bag plays for free. They know I don't. They be like, Rashida, what's that? I'm like, oh, you was on class. 
No, but actually, currently, because <laughs> right now is you got to tap in. Because why are you not invested in yourself? You see a play, it's fine. You see all of us running a play, talking about this play. You don't want to tap yep. All right, get the does number because I woke up, my does number was there for one business. I woke up on another business, it wasn't there. I'm like, yo, what happened to the love? <laughs> I think they created it for me because I have a business account for my phone. And I think it was it was Regis and my business. I think that's what triggered the Duns number. I don't know. Um, so maybe sometimes if your vendors report for you, however, you want the number yourself you don't want to wait on nobody for nothing we're gonna we go get us we go do it ourselves so dun and brad street um is like a credit reporting agency for businesses right and it's like experience a lot of places love them especially the government so what you do you go on duns and brad street.com d-u-n-s oh B R is it and? Duns. Or is it just and? Yeah, it's and. Yeah. Is it the and symbol or A N D? I know we just Google it. No, A N D. So www dot D N B. You go. Dot com. Right. DMB. And when you look up D N B. There's a hyperlink. Make sure the actual link itself says www.dmb.com because you know people like to use SEO to get to the top of the page when you search for stuff. So you want to make sure you're on the right page, right? And it says get a DUNS number. That's what you want. And it's free, right? So what you do, um, it's going to ask you why you want it. And you say... You're a U.S. government contractor or grantee. That's that's the gem to skip the line, right? They, they will get you your Duns and Bradstreet number with the quickness. And then it's going to um, ask you to look up your company, and you want to make sure everything is the same, right? So when you actually create your business, you, you want to put some thought into that address. Because for funding, you want it to match. You don't want to have one thing over here, one thing over here. It's going to be hard for people to find your business. So you're going to... Time out. Hmm? Time out. What do you mean by the word funding? Give me his bank's money. Give me his... What? What do you mean? That's me. That's me. Hi. I don't know. Hi. What does it mean That's when you me. say funding? For a long time, me. when they said funding, I didn't know what it meant. And then I understood it. So that means you got you to gotta make sure they understand it. Okay, so when you go for funding, your primary objective is to get as much of other people's money as you can at good terms. Keyword so it's like a credit card? You could get credit cards. You could get lines of credit, like open lines of credit, which is just money sitting in an account for you, ready, waiting for you to pull it out. Um, you can get loans. You could get grants. Am I missing anything? I take gifts and donations too. So anytime, <laughs> so anytime that they extend me credit or a loan or a line of credit or any free money that I'm getting outside of my business that I'm not producing is called funding. And then I see an, um, a question in the chat. Um, I would suggest doing different suite numbers. Yes. Um, at the I same address. I was about to say that. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of addresses you can do so, and um, it, it, I can attest to that because um, my my house that I have in Elmont, we used to use the upstairs as a tax service business, mm -hmm. um, and they used to rent it out. So now I occupy that space, but I use it as you know unit B, unit C, unit D, as in mm -hmm. I have multiple rooms up there that can be used for business purposes. Yes, so, and I, um, I saw another question. Virtual, we love virtual addresses. You just got to be careful, right? Because what they will do, they will Google yeah, just, what you give them. Mm -hmm. yeah, and just, it, if really, it says, really good one. yeah, because it, it just needs to look like a commercial buildings with a lot of streets. 
right? Because if it's like a FedEx, a UPS, a shipping center, um, nothing, if nothing is really there <laughs> and it's just a lot, you don't want that address, <laughs> right? You want yeah. it, like, if it looks, if it Googles, I think my first one that I tried out was actually um, in the city. It was like 1140 Avenue of the Americas. And if, like, I used to work in one of those buildings on that Avenue of the Americas, they got 50 floors, right? So that's credible. And someone said, what is a credit smart number? Um, so from what I know, credit smart, that's a, um, it's a, it's a European it? based. Uh, it's building European account. Based. Yeah. And, and it's also European based. Um, and also the, the, the other agency that, that reports, there's another bureau other than Duns and Brad and Equifax and Experian that is actually starting to move over to the States. I can give out the sauce, but I'm I'm sorry that one's gonna have to be in the program because listen, you gotta say something for your students today. because if you gonna, yeah, if, gonna you, if you if you're running these plays and you executing them them yourself to go and teach other people because they don't know about it, then you you keep that for you keep that for the students because I'm pretty I'm sure if he's giving if he's giving out the ones that he's giving, imagine oh, what yeah. he's saving and some of the ones he's giving I'm like you gave that up. He's like, yeah. I'm like, shit. Oh, yeah. What kind of Terminator, sure. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Arsenal uh, uh, weapons you got stored up? Like, sheesh. So there's a, a there was another question. There was another question. Oh, yeah. If I'm on live, I'm dubbing all phone calls. I ain't going to lie. Because at and this is my, I started the live over three times. I three saw. Times. It was like, stressing me out. There was one more person. Somebody said, is it probably a multiple LLCs at the same address? We, uh, we answered that. Virtual address, we answered that. And then, yo, stop. Yo, yo, I'm trying to answer the people. Stop. Drive hearing. safe, what? <laughs> oh, oh we answered the questions in the chat. She had a green light right. talking about she reading questions. <laughs> it's red. Like, we're not, we all in traffic and blowing the horn. Like, yo, we all sitting here going nowhere. I just need to be home by 645. Well, six thirty, so I could relax for thirty minutes before I gotta hike myself back up. So look, um, wait, somebody else said something. They said, um, my question. Oh no, no, no. Come on, DMB. We explain what funding is. We explain what funding is, and now we're going to get in that Dun Brand Street number. Well, so you go on DMB.com. You say you want to get your number. The gem is you want to put that you're a government contractor or grantee. They're gonna expedite you, put you straight to the front of the line. Um, you should get it within a couple of days. Um, if not, it's like a week or so. And um, then you'll get an email with your number. Sometimes they'll let you know, like we were talking about, you already got a number. And it's like, oh, it's lit. Um, But you definitely want to have that for yourself. And with that, that number, um, that helps you get trade lines. That helps you get, um, well, it helps when applying for funding as well. Like that's how they look up your, your business profile. In your business is business. So I'm gonna tell you, right? I try to help somebody. I try to help somebody uh, get in a, get some banking or some funding or even open an account, and they didn't have a DMB number. They told me they had all their papers. This is why I'm making sure that my friends are coming on here telling y'all all the components which y'all have to have because they thought they had everything in order, and they did not. And the and the bank actually nope. said you don't have a Duns and Bradstreet number. Yeah, they will look you up. I I tell you a bank that really will look you up in front of your face and don't care. Wells Fargo. If, Wells Fargo and Key Bank will do it. Key Bank will look up your whole state of sec, uh, Secretary of State information. They will look up your address right in front of your face. I like that. And they'll, and they'll look at you. And, may, and they'll look at you while they're looking at it, right? Yeah. To make To make sure that they looking at you to make sure that you don't have any type of comments or anything like that to persuade them from looking at what they're trying to figure out about you. So I don't mind that. And this is the reason, right? Me either. <laughs> Duns and Bradstreet, when they look you up, they get mad information at once. That's less work for me to do. Yes. Yes, they do. It's so beautiful. like, they'll look you up on a state of the state secretary website and be like, okay, you're in good standing. Okay, this, that, and the third. And then they'll look you up with Northern Brass, you'll be like, okay. And it gives them a lot of information. So I don't have to be like, all right, what paper you want? Okay, here. 
out of my whole portfolio. It's easy. And I know to be my honest, business all address that should be in your email anyway. I'm gonna get on your level. <laughs> I don't. Oh, that should be in your email anyway. Who carrying paper? Paper is so dirty. Email. If you got iPhone, you can go right in your files. All of my paperwork, I have a save it in your phone. Exactly. Save it. My notes. My little black. My little black. All of that. I have Look all of you. that in my files. Cash ain't sometimes cash they don't want to do the latest paper. iOS update. She's still oh, dealing she, with paper. Oh, she's she, she still like? on iOS. That's cute though, you know. She's still on iOS 10? Nah, I'm not gonna lie. I bring my book. I bring my book when I go to the bank. Nah, and let me tell you bank. something. Let me tell you something. That for me personally, I don't know about y'all. Systems be going down at the wrong time. I ain't coming back. <laughs> I'm not coming back. So, well, actually, I need to change that mindset because Tevin um, and Rashida are telling me I need to build these relationships with these people. Yes, ma'am. Hi, happy birthday. How are you? How's the kid? How's the dog? How's the starter mm -hmm. tournament? However, I'll be, I'll be different. <laughs> I don't want to come back. <laughs> be nice. You got to be nice. Oh, my God. Oh, my All right, God. Wait, hold up. We got to go back to the question. Yes, I'm driving. I'm always driving. You don't see these brake lights reflecting nicely off my melanated skin? Sheesh. Um, Here we go. <laughs> when you get a, a business, <laughs> when you get a business phone in your business name, does it report to the bureaus? Yeah, especially if you ask. So, okay. It when depends. It, yeah. It depends it on depends. some time. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forget. So they like to report it when you're delinquent. That's, so That's when they like to report it. But you can um you can ask. I think mine usually don't. But I know for my, certain my things. My T-Mobile reports. My T-Mobile reports. My AT our AT and T because uh you know me for Face Mutual Corp we have AT and T. Um, that one doesn't. I, I don't think reports. We have to double check. But my T-Mobile actually reports to mine. T-Mobile reports. T-Mobile yeah, reports. They do. It's another yes, trick. Another vendor account. Yep, it is. That's why I got mobile, like six to uh, eight. I got actually ten right now. You got ten lines with T-Mobile. No, I got ten trade lines. They they approve me for a lot, a lot of lines, but I ain't. I'm not using them. Oh, and when I heard, call up. When I call up, just ask if they report. Mm -hmm. and ask, ask ask if they don't report. How can you get them to report? So ask questions. As, as Mike do always not, says, do, do not be homework. afraid to ask. Yeah. Don't don't be afraid to ask questions. This is why we got the information we got because we're not afraid to ask questions. We're not afraid to ask questions. The most they could tell you is the worst they could tell you is no. And no yeah. mean next opportunity. Yep. And we've done the research, you know, we've we've looked into it. We've actually done the play. Like we're not coming to you telling you, hey, go do this, this and that, and we haven't even tried it or done it ourselves. All right, no ball. I'm going through the tunnel. So if it, if it's choppy, it'll just you know, just that's their fault. Um, no, we, another question. Wait, wait, Brandon, Somebody what happened? Was, wait, Brandon was calling me way back when. You remember what happened? What? You were saying, Kai. Kai. Come on, come on, come on. It's over now. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have no clue. There's okay, a, there's, tunnel. There's another, there's another so, question. Wait, wait, we was, in, we was up here, we was up here, we had, I got you, I got you. Even if oh, you okay. have nothing to do with government contracting, yes. Yes. Yeah, I, yeah, all of my businesses, every business I register, I press yes. Even though I do have a business that's specifically for government contracting, but. You know, I we're, yes. we're all firing down the road, manifesting. We're know? just trying to get the number, that's all that matters, you're just trying to get yeah. the number. All right. And yeah, I gotta go in twenty right. minutes, Rashida. I have to go in twenty minutes. Twenty all minutes. Right, all right, all right. So she, you be acting like I really be like, like chaining you, you do. to the phone. You, you do. You still talk like, to me after they say the you lie. have to go. <laughs> you be chained to the live. I'm tired. Hey, and, all right. and I know. Is it bad if they have to call you? Who's calling you? Who's trying to call you? Oh, they're gonna try to sell you on like fifteen hundred dollars worth of stuff. Don't, don't. It's fine. You don't need it. No, thank you. Or I'm not. Or I'll consider it. Um, I'll let y'all know. No, not I'll let y'all know. Be like, okay, no, thank you. Not at this time. Yeah. Once you register, the services, the, the government or the the state 
or the local government gives your information out to these publications and these uh these phones and list your business. Wait, 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 and... Tevin, which I'm one talking you answering? Dunn and Brad Street. Which one you answering? Huh? We was answering the question, is it bad if they have to call you? Who's they? Who call you? Oh. I'm assuming Dunn's and yeah. Brad Street or one of them. What do you mean? What is what they gotta clarify that question? What does that mean? Uh, you gotta clarify that question. Next question. Any way around the publication requirements to form an LLC in New York? My, I would my, say oh, don't I, form an LLC um, in New York. If, if you are <laughs> going to form an LLC in New York, all right, so if you go online, they pu publications in different areas in New York are different prices. If you form an LLC further upstate, it's 10 times cheaper than inside New York City if you have to do a publication. My All suggestion is don't, don't form an LLC in New York, like she said, but if, like, you really have to for some odd reason, um, just do it out of, out of the city. Inside the Actually, city, it's expensive itself. I, I, I got a hack for y'all, right? You can go ahead and form that LLC in New Jersey and just do a foreign entity in New York. That's how you avoid the publication. I'm, I'm going to give you a... That's a good one. I'm going to give you another hack. Wait, you time out. Wait, before, wait, wait. Before you do that, what does foreign entity mean? We oh, have yes. to remember. Yes. This, okay. We're not talking amongst ourselves. We're talking about people who may not right. understand. And it's okay. It's okay. Because I was once you. I had to Google it when somebody said it. I just wrote it down. But we want to tell y'all. What does foreign entity mean? So a, a foreign entity registration is... Now, remember I said you register that business in New Jersey. So now your primary, your primary business is done in Jersey. With a foreign entity registration, you're you're going to another state that you are not a primary residence with your business in, and you are conducting business in that specific state that you're registering your foreign entity in. So essentially, you're saying that my business is registered in New Jersey, and I'm going to follow for the foreign entity would be that Although I'm registered in New Jersey, I'm conducting business in New York, and I'm good yes. that way. Yes, and you get a you get a specific number attached once you register your foreign entity. You get a specific number attached as it's as like an EIN, because now when you're registering or going to banks for these fundings and things like that, you're giving them your foreign entity registration number, not your EIN if you're going to a specific bank in New York because you're not registered in New York, you're registered in Jersey. Now, certain banks, they won't lend to certain states if they're not in the same perimeter or they they don't lend in certain states. Like, I can give you an example, Truist. Truist does not lend in New York. They lend in Jersey, they'll lend in PA, and they'll lend in the other surrounding states. But they do not lend in New York because it is out of their comfort range of giving money. So for me, I have to, as a New York business, I have to register as a foreign entity in New Jersey in order to be able to open up an account to get a business credit card. I cannot get a loan with them as yet because I, I have not built out my years. But with registering a foreign entity, I'm still able to get a business credit card. I'm still able to get a business bank account, a business savings. However, business products that I can get, that I'm allowed to now with that foreign entity. I hope you guys um, got that. I hope you guys got that. Brandon, go ahead. I'm going to give you another little secret, which I don't know many people know or many people do. You can create a, a business in New Jersey and have a New York address. Mm -hmm. So I have a business registered, everything created in New, New Jersey but I have a New York address attached to my New Jersey business. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you got you to gotta understand the rules at each state. Each state have different rules. So I don't know what you have to do in New York, but if that works for you, you can do that. So that's you that's did New the Jersey paperwork. State rules. If, you, if you, did, you did the paperwork for New Jersey for your LLC, and when you put down your business address, you put down a New York address. Yes, your address can be outside of Jersey. If you oh, so wait, wait, time out, time out. Let's. <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm like, what? Let's, yeah. let's do it tomorrow. Let's run this back. Let's run this back real quick, because I told y'all I'm a teacher, so I gotta understand it, and it was spit it out. You're telling me that, that New Jersey <laughs> allows you 
to put an outside state's address on your LLC paperwork. Absolutely. I had it since day how one far, I started up. How far out? I have a Brooklyn address on my New Jersey LLC. I live in Arizona. Can I put that down? Arizona? I, you can do any state outside of New York. There's, there's, no, there's no limit. You could put down any address on this LLC. We going yo. Ho wee wee. What? <laughs> I don't know about Hawaii. <laughs> and Hawaii's, not even, so Hawaii's not even attached. So you're but. saying continental U.S., New Jersey allows you to put down an out-of-state address on your LLC paperwork. Price has no problem. Yes. I have another LLC to open up. I'm going to do that just because. <laughs> and I don't even need to do it. I'm just going to do it just to show y'all. Matter of fact, give me, what, a week? Is it uh, two weeks? I think you expedited it. You get in like a couple days. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm on live every day. I'm, I'm going live every day. I'm going to write down my phone. I'm going to tell Siri to remind me. And then I'm going to just go like this and be like, oh, shit, look at that. Go back to that live. Share this live with your friends. Brandon already told you what to do. I believe him too. I'm not even bullshitting. Brandon, I can show you. There's a lot of wisdom in that beard. I'm telling you. Let me see if I got any paperwork here. Let me see. 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 Yo, don't don't be rude, Joe. Can you explain the foreign entity? We did that. NY NYS has been backed up for foreign filing since April. Pay for expedition. See, they over here telling y'all what to do. Don't be cheap. Yep. Like y'all want to pay the fee. Pay the fee. Nah, you better pay the you fee. Because guess what? It moves up the time frame of when of, of when you start to gain these years on your foreign entity. It moves up your time frame. Now you're not waiting a whole so, month. So I live in Jersey, want to start a business here, register in Delaware to po avoid paying taxes. Is that considered the same thing? So are you registering so Delaware or are you starting up a Delaware LLC? That's different. If you want to avoid paying taxes, you got to start up a Delaware LLC if you go on that route. You got to start, a, start that up means a that Delaware LLC. When you say start up a Delaware LLC, what does that mean? All right. So it is different. Like we all say about these tax laws and tax rules. So in Delaware and Nevada, the reason why people start up start up LLCs in Delaware and Nevada because they have those states. You have a lot more protection on anonymity and different tax laws when you open Wyoming. up. Wyoming, Wyoming, corporation friendly. What They're does what does friendly. anonymity mean? Anonymity when you going into the corporate structure, anonymity means we Ooh. don't want things leading back to us. So we want anonymity within our corporate structure. We don't want the corporate structure. We don't want the corporate structure pierced. So that's why we create layers and layers of LLCs, so it can't be broken through individuals that's trying to sue us. Holding companies and everything. So it means that it means that you keeping your 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 business, your business private. private. So if I was you, if you want to create a Delaware LLC, I would look into creating a Delaware LLC. Don't just put your address in Delaware. I would look into creating a Delaware LLC. Let me go a little bit more on the anonymity. Um, and that's why we suggest registered agents that is not yourself because this oh, is that's a must. public information, right? There's so many people. If you look up their business, New York State will tell you everything, right? And if they're the registered agent and they put their, like, you put your address, your name as a registered literally found people's addresses and i'm just like damn i just don't care <laughs> right so you definitely want to be um cognizant like mindful of the information that you're filing with that's why you should already have your business address right but if register agent is even better and you could get it for as little as 25 dollars a year right and what they do is any um hmm, $25 a year to not be stressed out. Don't be cheap about your business. The $25 is tax deductible. Go ahead. Okay. Sorry, I just um, <laughs> So, um, yeah, just be mindful of the information you're actually filing with. Because even um, me personally, my first EIN, I wasn't in um, 
my address is right on that paperwork. I'm like, ooh, that's not cute. So be my. They could pull up on you. They could pull up on you. Fine. Everybody know where All I'm right. At. There we go. Got my registered agent in Albany. Got to do that publication bullshit. Yep, we all know it's BS. But it's cheaper um, for Albany. It is way, way cheaper. Postal, I postal is not good. I I learned that the hard way. I no. Be cheap. I'm telling no. y'all, don't be cheap. Because I postal well, addresses are, they are, I was being cheap. I had to stop I being cheap. I found a honestly, good God. one. If their mm-hmm. storefront has FedEx, UPS, all that stuff on it, they're not going to take it. Even when you try to get a merchant account, it's going to be a whole problem. It's going to be a whole problem. I found problem. only one address on iPost that I see that was that was like a like a good address. But most of them is FedEx, is shipping centers, and that's going to get you flagged. That's going to get you flagged. You want to make sure that you have a legit, make sure it look like a, bu- a building. Google it yourself. Make it like a building that you walk into. It, it don't got no name on it. It's just a big ass like building. All right? Um, yeah, I learned my lesson on that when I actually have to change the address of that business soon. I'm formed in Florida, but I live in Texas. So now we have to fall as a file as a foreign entity in Texas. Yep. Um have pay the fee. Pay the fee. Can I talk? Can I go? Because we want to be compliant. Always wanna be compliant. Um shit is live out. We answering for real questions. Y'all getting the sauce. Yo, honest to God, this huh? shit tells me to make a left and come back around. I'm going to have a holy effing fit. Yo, I'm not listening to this damn thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cash, you still there? Cash got kicked out. Nah, Cash, oh, she yeah, told Cash me. got kicked out. Oh, yeah, she had to leave. I didn't do that. Said, right? She did say she did say twenty minutes, but I technically had I technically had three more minutes, so I don't, she owes me. Um, all right, we're going through these questions. We're going through these questions. Um, I'm I'm available um, now. I can look at the questions. Hold up, where where are we at now? All right, y'all. The team told me the book is live. I gotta go put it in the link tree. I gotta go put it in the link tree. The book is oh, ready. The book is live. Woo. The book is live. Yes. Um, if you could, can you? Is it? Is the link gonna be like clickable? If I drop a link in here, is it clickable? If I drop a link in here, is it clickable? I gotta find that out. All right, the book is live. Uh, so no, it's I'm not. It's not. It's not. It's, not. It's, it's not. Know, I didn't put it in the link tree. She just. No. It's, it's not for uh, clickable. No. It's, no, it's, it's ready. It's I told you, I was ready. Yeah, if you put in the link tree, it's gonna be it's gonna be available, but you can't put it in the live. You can't put it in the live for them to click. They're not gonna be able to. Yo, live me to get that together. Cause that's ridiculous. All right, all right. The fight is gonna be. I always say my bring lives. Me back. Unless AG, I got it. I got it. Unless IG is hating, unless IG is hating like they was earlier, I don't say the bullshits when I'm. I was literally cussing IG out. Like if you saw me, I was fighting the air. I was so mad. I was so mad. All right, hold on. Um, How did he do that? Wait, wait, wait. Share the live out. Share the live at. Wait, wait, wait. All right. So the question at the bottom: Global Voice Direct counts as a trade line and reports your phone line for a business line. Are you telling us that? Who, who wrote it? Nat, Nat US that's, oh, that's, that's 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 my that's my girl. That's wifey. Yo, why you yo, why yes. you yo what? I'm like Nat is speechless. What's up? She, are you Nat are you asking speechless. us or are you telling us? No, she's telling, she's telling. Oh, so giving you an she's answer Google me to voice tell. direct got yeah, you counts as a trade line you, and reports your line for a business line. I, I ain't gonna so, lie, I don't know what that was. That's the other that's the other half. That's the other half of me. Of Essentials ABC Solutions. I know y'all see me on here. That's my other half. That's who, who helps me with all of my research, with everything y'all see and everything I got going on. So if y'all see in here answering questions, it's the same information we both know. All right, here we go. Yes, Will Smith did that, no cap. What Will Smith did that? I know Will Smith did that, right? I probably don't. Oh, it's about with a live. The link is live on the thing. I'm about to listen. I'm about to. Oh. I'm about to put up there right now. Um, right, right. I, I never, wait, I never wait. Did we answer if um you have a delinquent on your business account? How long I just put that up. I just put that up. Oh. I just put that up. If so here's something people a, don't ahead. know. You can do 
credit repair on your business report. Yes, you can. The same rules apply. The same rules apply. Consumer law is consumer law throughout everything. So I don't know the statute of limitations on your delinquency. However, I do know that there's probably inaccuracy in their reporting and you could get that off. Oh, Cass. See, it's always inaccuracy. This is what you do. And this is what Cass do. She come on here and open up the can of worms. That's what she's doing. What do I do? She come on. She come on here and to be open honest, up the consumer if law I, can if of I worms. Was I would just go tap it with consumer law secrets. I would just go tap it with consumer law secrets. I would just yeah, go tap it with consumer law secrets. I haven't started business cut kind of repair, but you know, if you're willing to try, I'm willing to try. And if you want to know the consumer law, like you want to start learning about that, definitely consumer law secrets. That's the handle. Consumer and, um, law secrets. What's the website? Send him she the three. Tell him she the three sent you. <laughs> Who? Uh, that's um. <laughs> that's, what's that's the rain, right? That's the rain. I forgot the rain. Yeah, oh, consumer law secrets sent you. All right, my book mm -hmm. is live. Let me fix this. Let me get this link up. Let me. It's Ooh. like let, I'm a. I'm a leave out real quick and come back and just let me know that I'm good because I'm a leave out. Do it and then come back. All right, hold on. Yep, I'm just paused. I'm just yeah, paused. Just yes, paused. yes. Paused. All right, all right. No, it, it's not. It's not showing. All right, check up. it. Check it. Refresh the link tree. All right, hold on. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Oh, when you when you repost this live, can you tag me so I can put it on my story? Because people really be like, "Did you go live today?" And I'm like, "Yes, I did. <laughs> I promise." We been holding each other accountable. I promise. All right, check it for me. Check it for me. I think. It's there, it's there. Ebook. It's there, it's there, it's there. All right, so we walked you out how e to do the. Yup, it's there. Yes, I see. Ooh, it right? it's nice. It's you want my nice. number? Okay, if you want my number, you can have my number. It's fancy. All right. We got more questions. Let's go. The ebook is dropped. Class is at 7.30. If you still over here trying to figure out what to do with your cards, you should have been, been got the book. Should have been took the class. Why am I thinking? You won't, I don't know. It, you know, listen, these phones are... same location 
Y'all can hear me, right? I just want to make nah, sure I it's not me that's coming out. That was me that was frozen on cash. I don't know. Let, let the people see. Who, is, who, who, who needs to pay their bill? Me or her? That's probably me. That was probably me. All right, bet. So look, look, ebook's live. The ebook is live. The credit to cash ebook is ready. Credit. What am I now? Cash. E you in the Zoom room? I'm coming. I just want to show the I'm people crying. I really bought it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know what happened. When I do things, and I've got Credit to Cash ebook is live. It link in bio. I should probably wrote that. You good? Woo! Credit to that's Cash that's ebook is now. linked in the bio. Ooh. I'm not going to lie to y'all. That, go. that book is sticker than a snicker. But I got my coffee. But I gotta go. That book is that book is sticker than a snicker. On the Zoom too. But anyway, Zoom? Later, we got Zoom right now. I moved it up so I could come to your class. What Zoom? What Zoom is this? New York. Oh, oh, New Jersey. Oh. oh, I got you. Later. Nah, you're not coming. It's fine. It's nah, fine. I got I'll, put you, on the I'll put y'all on the I'm chat phone. Right <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll exactly. <laughs> I'll put y'all on the chat phone too. I'll put y'all on that phone. Don't worry about it. Oh, You'll man. Now, nah, we, still, we still here? I'm here. We still here. All right, bet. Y'all got some more questions about these businesses? Uh, important. Let's get these questions added, out. Added to the algorithm. Just watch this. It's like, I, I had a contact info for both. So we walked you down today. Why am I going? I don't know. Is that Nat? Yeah, she just turned it down. She just turned it down. <laughs> um. So yeah, we got. <laughs> I was trying to get on the live for the longest. <laughs> I didn't. I just told y'all. I didn't know who it was. I'm sorry. I, I said Nat is. Who is that? Nah, that's my that's my other half. Is oh, the, sorry. Is the sax playing the ebook? No, it's not. Actually, <laughs> I was like, I know that answer. I know that answer. The sax play, yo, shorty, you about to get clipped. You got to be careful when walking out at night. That's not good. I know that answer. All right. The sax plays in the Discord. To be honest, to be honest, one of my students is probably the most fire person at running this sax play. And the craziest part about it, the craziest part about it, is that the sax play was started by somebody else. The sax play was popped out by somebody else. They popped off 11,000 on the sax play. 11,000. 11,000 on the sax play, right? Before anybody was popping this out, it's pretty much the owner of the Discord popped this out. Put it in the Discord. We was running the plays. We was running the plays. And then one of the students started out running the girl who originated the play. She probably didn't got 15, anywhere between, I would say, if I'm doing my math right, because sometimes I add, I, I carry the one. If I'm doing my math right, she probably didn't got like 8,000 and maybe 14,000. I have to remember, I don't want to, I don't like counting people money. But if I have to remember it correctly, I know this time she got six and the first time she got four. So she had 10. Look at that, if I remember. But she running it, she runs it to the T. Like, I love it because she was one of my first students. That's crazy. She was one of my first students. And she kills the play. I don't, yo, honestly, I did it last time, and I'm, I don't know if I'm running it again because I have a lot to do. But she, she's like, oh, no, nah, I got Christmas. I'm not, I got Christmas to do. I got Christmas and the baby and mm -hmm. this and that. And I'm like, yo. It's crazy. How long? How long? So if you ain't take that class yet, if you ain't get this Discord yet, you you like you must like paying for shit. You must like paying for shit. <laughs> All right, Mississippi LLC costs fifty dollars. Can I use a foreign entity to operate in Alabama? No. They, they LLC is fifty dollars. Shit, I might open up one phone on there. Right. <laughs> what they said? No. 
cost yeah, I'm about to go on. <laughs> it cost me six hundred to open up one in Delaware, and they about a, they 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 back up about thirty days. Sheesh. Yeah, I'm I'm about to do the one and out out in uh, Wyoming. I'm about to do my, my Wyoming's uh, back. Wyoming's backed up like they said, like seven months. Yeah, I heard. I might I might have to pay that extra. You know what it is. How long do you have to have an LLC before you go get funding? <sighs> There's mixed reviews on that, but they like it to be seasoned. So I'm gonna tell you my experience with it. I had actually my LLC is actually anniversary gonna be like a year old coming up, maybe in like two weeks I think. So I opened it around Thanksgiving, and I started going for funding with it in like between June and August. So my LLC was about six months old. And my credit score when I was going for funding was over 760. I was 760. I was 753 to 774 or 776, something like that. That was the ranges. It was like, it was, I would see it all the time, but it would be within those ranges. So when I was applying for, for funding, that's what my scores was. And my utilization at that time was less than 5%. Like I had my shit reporting like 3% every month. And when I went for funding... I also have put some, I did some plays and put money in the account. So I had like money inside of the account. Um, somebody else said, is it over? I don't know what, I don't know what's over. Um, you have to, you have to have all the I's dotted. Yes, you always want to have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. I need to go, I need to I need to one going to be shelf. I don't know what you said. I'm sorry I couldn't understand what you were talking about. The sax play. I couldn't understand. Oh, sax. Like sax for Avenue. Um, sax. So you have to PG it. I did. I PG'd it. Now when you open your business, you can go and do the traditional round of funding. Yes. You, go, you can go that way. It's expensive. And a lot of you still can't be cheap when you're doing this stuff. Really don't try not to be cheap. Yeah, like especially starting a business, you know, and and it's just, it, you know it's the same thing with with me with everything that I'm doing with the business credit program. I I, I want y'all to look at this as an investment to yourself. Um, I want to make sure that everything is mm -hmm. is good for y'all, and y'all understand that what you're doing with this business credit is to gain more assets like Rashida says it's not liability spending we don't promote that we don't uh we, we don't acknowledge it this well i is... haven't said it today on this live i do not endorse liability spending there you go we here we're not making money from the spend it's a liability i do no... not endorse liability spending that's not saying you can't have fun but you have to have money for that Yep. Cash aside, you could pay, you could put it on your credit card, use it liquid cash you have, and pay that card back off. But if you fund in your fund on credit and you don't have the cash to pay it back, that's liability spending. I do not okay. endorse liability Absolutely. spending. I'm sorry, go ahead. Absolutely. So, no, if so, we had so, to tell so, the yeah, people so. go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so yeah, we don't we don't we don't promote that we don't endorse that none of that so with with my business credit program i'm teaching you if you start want to start from scratch i'm teaching you how to open up the llc from scratch the proper way right now we're going to build out that business we're going to get the business credit we are going to establish the business credit so that when you go to apply for these business credit cards it's great you can do it regular as a as a regular pp you have to Find it as a backup. It's, it's automatic. It's the automatic the given that they will give you. So I want you guys to think about it. Um, everything like that. I have the way, to, and he has been helping y'all out a lot, like crazy. He can give you all the gems. You know what's the good part that about it too? I don't know everything, right? <laughs> I don't know everything, and I don't try to say I know everything. I know what I know. Ooh. But I've been getting my friends to come on here, and I've been getting them to give me shit that they really don't be wanting to give up. Because we got to get to the people. Now, they want to care. They want to, they share, they sharing, they sharing. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know everything. 
sometimes when I ask questions, I'm like, break it down. Break it down because it might clear something up for me. I don't know any, everything. I'm still I'm still a student. I'm always a student. What I know, I know how to turn this credit to cash. I can have yeah. a full-blown conversation on that. Business credit, business funding. Good at it. Evan's good at it. Who's good at it? Cash, good at it. Who's good at it? Brandon's good at it. Consumer loss, who's good at it? Durain's good at it. So we tapping in because we want to get informed. We want to get informed. So here we go. We got, I think we, there's no, I don't know what this, you're going to have to tell me what this is. If you're talking about a Walmart store, I'm not really endorsing that right now like that. I'm not. That's an investment right, for yourself. Bro. So you need, people going to believe you. Stop saying stuff like that in the chat. I don't know what that is. Mitch gave you hey, a man. shout out on that Actually, live. He gave me a shout out today. That's my yo, Mitch is love right now. I'm telling y'all right now, Mitch is love because he realized we really, he's like, yo, they really coming out here sitting down, breaking plays down for y'all, breaking it down. Are we are breaking it down? We are sit down, yo, go, go on. Um, do me a favor, break down. We said, all right, if you got good credit, right. If you got if you got good credit, you could be you could PG your 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 business, meaning you could personally guarantee right. it, meaning that you can use your personal credit report as collateral to get money from the banks. They're gonna look at your personal yeah. report and say, "Oh, you've been able to hold this this and this limit with this this and this. We could give you money because you've been handling your business personally. And if you can handle your personal business, that means that you probably can handle your business's business. So we're gonna give you some money, right now." That's what personally, PG means to personally guarantee, meaning that I'm saying that I'm going to put myself as collateral for the business credit. Look at my business, look at my personal credit and use that to judge how much you should give me as a business. This is why, yo, I get, because I gave y'all the Apple Play. I'm giving y'all the Apple Play. I'll give it again today. Everybody keep DMing me about it and it's in the lives. I put Apple in there and it's my put it. Every day. <laughs> every day I get an apple play. I don't even care. Get an app apples for everybody. It's it's nutritious, right? So... <laughs> 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 the apple sauce. I must be out of apple sauce. I'm gonna start going to apple sauce. Yeah, yeah. That's what we got. <laughs> apple sauce. Segment. The apple yeah, sauce is out. So so matter of fact, I'm also going. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a yo. I'm gonna get with my team, and I'm gonna literally drop that on the thing. You get the credit yeah, to cash. For real. Equal. For real. You get it. For you get it as money. an add-on for free for the book. Uh, the apple sauce is pulling up. All right. So <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all the apple sauce first, and then, and then Tevin's gonna give y'all how you gonna get some of your Tevin. You gonna give it to them too. How you gonna get the no the no PG route? So not, meaning that you're not gonna personally guarantee your your personal credit is not where you need it to be. Yeah, you are. And and you want to go the non PG route. You don't have to give them every card because I know you can sit here and talk about that shit for hours. But just <laughs> just the basics on how to get through that. The, the tier ones, tier two, tier three, just that and a couple. All right. So all right, hit the apple sauce. Hit the apple sauce. Hashtag for the apple sauce. Apple sauce coming. All right. Damn, it was sunny outside when I started this live. All right. Apple Buzz. sauce. First things first, first things first, you want to make sure, you want to make sure, hold on, sis, I spoke with Citadel today, they told me I had to live in PA, work or have family in the credit union, this is why you got to get into that consumer credit council, consumer credit council, all right, here we go, applesauce, don't distract me, don't distract me from the sauce, all right, so now, when you're going for the applesauce, you want to make sure that your personal credit score is above. Hashtag applesauce. Hashtag applesauce. Yes, yo, that got to be a hashtag. We got to put that up. Hashtag, hashtag applesauce. applesauce. Yo, people going to see it. I'm like, yo, what's that? What's yo, that? hashtag applesauce. You got to screenshot it. Hashtag <laughs> applesauce. Yo, I'm hashtag telling you, you got to make a real. Yo, I'm serious, I'm going to do it. 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 Hashtag real. applesauce. I got you. 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 You're going to reset a million people by accident. Hashtag applesauce. I'm going to put that in the thing too. Applesauce. All right. So you want to make sure that one, your credit score is above a 720 on TransUnion. Okay. It has to be above a 720 on TransUnion. I don't 
you could go below maybe a six eighty to seven seven twenty, but I I like to, I like to shoot nothing but net. Like I don't like when it's rimming out. I don't like none of that. Yo, screenshot screenshot that for me. All the applesauce on the screen. Applesauce. Hold on, hold on. I can't. I don't know why. Oh, I got it. I got. I'm about to get some of it. Applesauce. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold on. All right. So it's now, too much. yo, all of it. Screenshot all of it. So oh now you got you got the apple sauce, right? So now you got you got over a 720 on TransUnion. Over a 720 on TransUnion. Okay. Now you know that because you you checked your TransUnion score. You could probably go on Credit Karma and, and give you like a guesstimate, but make sure you have no derogatories on your TransUnion. Make sure that you make sure that your, your your credit report look good. All right. If it looks truly trash, then hit fix my credit, because that's what you gotta do, okay? Now. You want to make sure your score is over 720. You also want to make sure that your Apple ID information matches the information that's on your credit report. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Make sure that your Apple ID information matches what's on your credit report. Y'all can hear me? Make sure y'all can hear me. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Because you know my stuff is emotional. Y'all can hear me? All right, bet. Make sure that your information on your credit report matches what's on your Apple ID. No nicknames, no Slim Shady, no Boo Boo Bear, no, um, no, 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 oh, Fat Butt, no, none of that. Bootylicious, none of that. It gotta be, if your name is Tom Hanks, you need to have Tom Hanks, capital T, capital H, all right? It needs to be legit name, address, everything. If you want to double check, I suggest you go on um, annualcreditreport.com, annualcreditreport.com, annualcreditreport.com. They are allowing you to get your credit report for free, for free for the next Every week until April 2022. So if you want to make sure that the information in your Apple ID matches your um, your TransUnion report, you can go to www.annualcreditreport.com and request your TransUnion credit report. You can get it every week for free. They do not give you your score, but they'll give you your full report from your birthday. Like, they will give you the full shabanko, okay? Now... You're going to make sure that matches up. Then you're going to go to your Apple wallet. Go in your wallet. If you do not have the Apple card, it's going to ask you to apply because they feed it for everybody to get this metal card. I don't know where mine's at. They feed it for everybody to get this card. I think it's in here. I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I leave it on the table. Yep, it's in the house. All right. They feed it for everybody to get this card. To be honest, the card, the card felt like it feel like if you ever, um, you guys ever watched Batman when he had like them little things he used to fring and get your shirt stuck in the wall and you felt like you couldn't move because your shirt, that's what the car feel like for real. It's like, it's like that. That's how it sound. And it's how it clank too. Annualcreditreport.com. So you're going to make sure your transunion, your transunion report, everything on there matches with your Apple ID. Then you're going to go to Apple. You're going to apply, put your information in. They mostly have it, but they're going to probably ask for your social X, Y, Z. They're going to soft pull, meaning they're going to take, they're going to take a look into your report like this. They're going to soft peek it. They're going to soft pull your report. When they soft pull your report, also, oh, because I was getting this, make sure that your transunion is not frozen. It cannot be frozen. It cannot be locked. It has to be open. Because somebody had froze it first, and then they said that it was frozen, so they couldn't peek at it, because they're going to do a soft pull. They're going to go like this. They're going to soft pull you, all right? They're going to soft pull you. So make sure your transunion is not locked or frozen. You don't have no fraud blocks. It has to be clean. It has to be, it has to be clear. After they do that, after, you, after that happens, after you fill out the application and you press submit, they're going to pre-approve you for a certain amount. They're going to say, hey, you're pre-approved for, and if you guys see it, if you're pre-approved for 10000 hey, you're pre-approved for 20000 hey, you're pre-approved for 15000 hey, you're pre-approved for $850, whatever it is. They're going to pre-approve you for an amount. Once they pre-approve you, 
once they pre-approve you, you're going to go over to www.transunion.com. You're going to go over to www.transunion.com. All right? And you're going to make a free account with them. You're going to make a free account with them. <clears throat> At the top, it has like a little, like a, it's like a blue and yellow site. It has like a, a screen thing. You're going to press, you're going to press, um, I think it's like the second tab, and it's going to say uh, freeze report. You're going to go there and you're going to click to freeze your report. You're going to freeze your credit report. All right. You're going to freeze your credit report. How do you get your APR lower once you get the car? The point is to get the car with the lowest APR, but you can always call them about that. You can negotiate that with all the banks. All right. So you're going to freeze your report. After you freeze it, I, wait, I waited like about two to five minutes just to make sure it was frozen. I went back and checked. They're going to give you a four-digit pin. They're going to make you create a four-digit pin. Make sure you write that pin down. Write the pin down. Write the pin down so that you are able, you don't lose it. Because if you, if you lose it, you're going to, um, it's a whole bunch of mess to unfreeze the report. So save it, put it in your phone or whatever, stash it away. It's a four-digit pin that you have to remember when you create, when you freeze it, because that's the same four-digit pin you're going to use to unfreeze it later. All right? So now, you made sure that your, your score was over 720. You made sure that your, um, your Apple ID info matched up with your TransUnion credit report. You applied on the Apple Wallet section, because you could either do it online or in your phone. At the moment that you, you press submit, right? You applied, then you press submit. You went, you went over to, um, you went over to TransUnion and you froze your account. You made a free account and you froze your credit report. You froze, you froze your credit report just like that. All right, and now you're gonna go to Apple and you're gonna accept the offer. It's been working for like eight months. They haven't caught on yet. Let's run this shit. Let's run this Apple so it's doing nothing in the jaw. You're going to go back to Apple and you're going to press accept. You're going to press accept. Once you press accept, you should not see an inquiry. You should not see an inquiry. If you... It didn't freeze. If you see an inquiry, it didn't freeze. I'll run it back one more time. You're going to go. Score over 720. Your credit report and your Apple ID match up. I like to shoot all. I like to shoot nothing but net. I'm not trying to go in there like, yo, maybe they give me the money. Nah, run me my money, Apple. Over 720, your credit report and your Apple ID info match up. No nicknames. You, fill, you go to your Apple Wallet or online and you fill out the application. You're going to press submit. They're going to pre-approve you. When they pre-approve you, <laughs> pre you, stop. Do not press accept. Go to TransUnion. Go to TransUnion. Go to TransUnion and freeze your report. TransUnion.com. Transunion make an account. Freeze the report. After all the Apple products I got, shit, they might as well. I've been buying shit since, like, I should have bought Apple stock in the beginning instead of this goddamn phone. Another conversation, right? Freeze the report. Once you freeze the report, once you freeze the report, you're going to go back and press accept. Once you press accept, you have the card. It's going to be in your wallet in, like, two seconds. Drop the apples if you're going to run it. If you actually going to run the play because you got over a 720, drop a green apple for go. If you got, if you actually going to run the play because you got over a 720 on TransUnion, drop a green apple for go. Meaning we go wing. We're go. Green light me grow. Go. Go. Green apple means I'm going to actually go run this play. I got one green apple. God damn. Red apple means you can't run it yet because your score is not there. Red apple you got, it means you got to wait. 
Green apple mean that you're going to go running. Utilization is down. Green apple mean you about to go run this applesauce play on the applesauce. <laughs> Green apple mean you're going to go run this applesauce play. Remember, utilization got to be less than 10. Utilization got to be less than 10. Utilization got to be less than 10. Red apple mean you got to wait. What is the what is the peach mean? Credit score, you want to be over 720. Peach mean you afraid for what? They about to rob you? The peach mean that you marshmallow. You got a soft ass. <laughs> Yo, I'm not allowed to be on live by myself no more. <laughs> Who says that? What's wrong with y'all? Y'all got me tr y'all triggering me. <laughs> y'all <laughs> triggering me. You got all the fruits. We got some. We got some green apples. About to go run these plays. <laughs> green apple. About to go run this play. Go get the apple sauce. Go get the apple sauce. All right. Credit to at yo. <laughs> yo, if you enjoy it, I'm sorry. They don't have a card yet. I'm right here. Droid, I'm sorry. You don't, they don't have a card yet. You going to come on with me? I am home. I'm outside my crib. I'm going to get off the live soon. I just need Tevin to actually come back and tell y'all how to get this PG. <laughs> Give him five seconds. He said he'd be right back. He ran to the car real quick. So he, I'm about to finish the apple point. He won't have to come. Watch that. What's what happened? What that? And... Apple Play is MasterCard. Apple Play is a MasterCard. Apple Play is a MasterCard. Yo, Mitch, understand good people. I met Mitch couple several times actually. I gotta get my Bentley and give it to Mitch. For real. I gotta get my I gotta get my Bentley and give it to Mitch. Like I'm playing, but it's only because I have other plays, and I, I want to put that Bentley under a different business. And I need, like, maybe one or two more months in order to get the, the second half. I got half of it out oh, of money. I just need the other half. And I got a new car connect because of my boy, Reesey. At Reesey B.O.B., I got a new car connect because I honestly, I got to get him this Bentley. Like, first, I got to get it to say I got the Bentley, and then I got to give it to, to Mitch because he's the man. He's the man. If I run a sack play on this live, I'm deleting it. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. If I run a sack play on this live, I'm deleting it. Yo, can I pen fed? All right, pen fed. I actually brought a pen fed the other day. I brought a pen fed the other day. So pen feds, auto loans are dumb cheap. They are dumb cheap. They are dumb cheap. PenFed's auto loans are the cheapest. So, first off, PenFed pulls from Equifax. PenFed pulls from Equifax. They pull from Equifax. All right? PenFed Bank pulls from Equifax. You get into that credit union, you're going to do yourself a favor. Because anybody having trouble getting to these credit unions, you need to join the Consumer Credit Council. You need to join the Consumer... Yo, I need to get this Bentley, for real. You're going to see me like this. I'm going to put the glasses on. I'm going to be chilling like Mr. Man, Bernie. What's up, Bern? PenFed. Look it up. PenFed is a credit union. It's a bomb-ass credit union, too. Super fire. Super fire credit union. All right? I know Mitch sent y'all because he know what's up. PenFed's, PenFed is a bank. It's a credit union. You guys, if you guys really try to get into these credit unions, you have to, you have to find ways. There's always, listen, if, if I learn one thing, there's always a way. <laughs> there's always a way. Pen Fed, you gotta join the Consumer Credit Consumer Credit Council. All right, join the Consumer Credit Council because that's a way that you're able to get into these. You're able to get into these banks. You're able to get into these banks, and on these credit unions, when they say that you don't qualify, like oh you gotta live in the area, nah you a member of the Consumer Credit Council, so you can get in. Pen Fed has they have a loan. 
their bank loans, their um, their auto loans are like one point nine nine percent. You gotta turn on the, the TV or whatever it is. Yeah, I got you. All right, you got their bank loans are dumb cheap. On top of that, when they give you one product, their inquiry on Equifax is good for two or three products. Remember, we told you about we told you that about Bank of America earlier. You could do you could apply for a Bank of America business credit card and get two or even three, and they got a new product too that one point five unlimited. So and that'll be we one. We just talked inquiry, about that. That'll be yep. one inquiry. PenFed mm -hmm. is the same way. PenFed will give you two cards for one inquiry, and the best thing about it is that they match the limits on the cards. So if they excuse me, if they approve you. For the Visa signature card, Jesus! Okay. If they approve you, that jerk chicken. Had, that jerk that chicken. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I low key tasted. I mean, God, that's let me get some That was gross. Oh that God! Jerk sauce. That jerk. That yeah. barber jerk. All right, that barber jerk. It's yo. It's so good though. All right, PenFed. If they approve you for fifteen thousand on one card, they'll match, and you apply for another one. They not hitting you with an inquiry on that next card, and they'll match you. So now you went in for, to PenFed for one card, you got two, and you went in for fifteen thousand and gave you thirty. Yep. Easy. The first thing you gotta do though, stop being afraid of these limits. You cannot be afraid of these limits. Yep. You see this limit and you get scared. Put the card down so you change your mentality, then go pick it back up. But just be mindful that you just wasted some months because they probably gave you zero APR for some time. Mm-hmm. They, they only give it out for certain months. In the months. beginning. They give it out in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's why we always say we're running these banks for their money. We want the free money, too. We want the time that they're not charging us interest. You want to use that time to run up your, cla your cash flow because you don't have to pay for the money that you're getting. You get what I'm saying? When you pay interest, that means that if you borrow $100 from me, if you borrow, oh, hell yeah. If you borrow $100 from me, that means that, that means that you got to pay me back 110 But imagine you got you borrow 100000 from the bank, and they're like, yo, pay me back 100000 Just a swap, just one-to-one, -one, that's what you want. So you want to make sure that when you are applying for these banks and you're getting this money from them, don't be afraid of the money, and do take advantage of the free months. Take advantage of that. Zero APR for 12 months? You got 12 months? You done took my credit to cash class and you know how to get that money off? And you got months with cash? Go. Perfect. What could you do with that? And we start in an hour. So you know I'm not going to be on live for four hours again. We start in an hour. <laughs> I brought my man Bernie up here. I'm going to tell you, this man right here is a whole gem. You talking heavy. I'm tonight. I'm 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 just here. Listen, I'm, I'm <laughs> here as a spectator. Like I, the spectator, yo, you, right? Yo, yo you you, you you going, son? You giving the you giving the game for she real? Playing. She's she playing. She's not playing. Princess. And she got they me not, doing they it. Not listening. Right? She got they not everything. listening. They not. They not. <laughs> But I don't think they people what I told them. Consumer credit. I got into Andrews Credit Council. I'm not supposed to get into I, at a crisis. I'm not supposed to get into Andrews Federal Credit Union. I got in because I'm in the Consumer Credit Council. And it literally said it on there. I'm not supposed to get in. Remember, I dropped another bank for y'all. 3% bank. Mm. I'm a, I don't live in Alabama, but I'm sure squirming my way in there. I need that 3%. I need it. He needs Tevin, it. Tevin, Bernie, Bernie, Tevin. Y'all never met, but they cool. Tev, what's the word? How you doing? How you doing? Salute, King. How you doing? Listen, I'm doing great, man. You got to understand. Listen, it's too many. It's too many gems and jewels. First of all, she is teaching in, in my course. She's teaching in my course. She she don't even know it, but she is. Skipping the line. Yo, yo, skip the line is about to be fire. Sheeta, you don't even know. You alongside of Pushman Mitch. You alongside Kenny Conwell. Marcus Y. Rosier. Marquel Russell. Courtney Rowe. Like you you in like you you in there with some with some bangers. Yeah. Listen, Bernie, let me tell you, Mitch pulled up on my live like last week. I was right. giving out the applesauce 
for the Apple Play, I'd have just like, yo, if y'all don't have, if y'all got an iPhone, it out. <laughs> if you got an iPhone and you don't got the Apple card, you're doing yourself a disservice. I'm just like, yo, go get the card, no inquiry. You don't have to worry about removing it. You don't have to worry about your score dropping. Go get the card. Nothing. Put, Mitch put up on the live. I didn't even know Mitch ain't had a card. Mitch ran the play. I explained on the live, got himself 20K. He been, he been telling everybody, go, yo, go get the Apple sauce from Sheeta 3. She gonna give it to you. I might, I might, people was charging for it. I'm like, for what? It's a free play in your phone. Mm, that's crazy. The mm. whole sequence is free in your phone. I'm just telling you mm. what to do. I'm telling you where to go, what to do next. You do it right, and you have the pre-qualifications. You got the pre-reqs. Because you can't go to advanced chemistry if you didn't take first chem one-on-one. You got mm. the pre-reqs. Go so get it. Heavy. They should give you the money. Now, if something happened, they don't give it to you. I'm telling you, I done helped probably 60 people get the card. So mm. if you that fluke, you know, people be wearing condoms and get, get chicks knocked up. So I don't know. <laughs> she always gonna start, yo. It's yeah. yo, whatever she say is always something coming in. <laughs> yo, <it's> just, <laughs> I don't know. But if you know. that fluke, if you that <laughs> fluke, I don't know. But and I'm having, everybody and shooting their shot. It's funny because the business credit program, and I asked Rashida as well, if she can come on and, and teach credit to cash because people people can get business credit at a low limit and build it right up with what credit to cash. Credit to cash. Yo, somebody said it's a bad apple. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I just, I just, I That's just. That's why they was putting up the red joints. I just gave one of my, one of my mentees the play on American Express. She just went and picked up a, she didn't know that you could go and be a, a, a person who guarantor without having business credit and go pick up, you know what I mean? Her credit is in the seven sixties and she don't even know what she could do with it. I'm like, yo, go this, this if you don't believe me, you don't got to go full. You don't got to go ham for a funding deal on your business credit, but just go apply for American Express and see what happens. She had an American Express already, like on her personal. She, she is. They just, they just gave her twenty five thousand, like on one card, for her business with no business credit. Like but, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell people like, y'all not leveraging y'all credit out here. Listen, y'all not. American Express will give it up. Absolutely. Navy. Yes, they will. All of these, like, Navy will give it up 100%. That's, you was just talking heavy on the credit unions. They give you, like, three cars. Like, they'll give you... <laughs> not even... Not only that, subprimes. Subprime, like, and, and I've been preaching them. MNT Bank. I got 100 k I'm not lying. I'm not lying. I got Talk 100 k Talk heavy. From, from, and at 5%. You know what 5% is on 100 k Five thousand dollars. You mean to tell me you gave me a hundred k and I just gotta pay you back a hundred k plus the five? I already flipped that. Yo, I'm telling y'all. Let me, let me ask you Hold a on, question. You know what's right? crazy that you said that? When I dropped the Apple Play, I gave up Amex too because I went and got a five piece in five minutes. Then I went back a week later because I was being greedy and got two more and a product look, upgrade. Look, I'm hold on. I'm gonna show y'all on oh, my phone. I'm gonna show y'all something. That's the hundred K right there. I I know you use a little bit. That's the hundred K right there. I'm not it's lying. Right, use a little bit. <laughs> it's a splash. It's just a splash because I'm I'm doing my investments, but that's that right there is sitting because I have another fifty from PNC and I got another twenty thousand on the line of credit. Let me tell so you why he letting that money playing. sit though. Y'all got peep. He's I'm gonna let you go, Bernie, because I, I got ADHD. Sometimes if it come out, it gotta come out quick. <laughs> The reason he went, he's letting that money sit is because sometimes you got to let that, you got to let that relationship build up a little bit. They like to see that you are able to hold a balance in your account. Mm -hmm. They like to see that. You got to, you know, when you say you can't, when you go, when you dating a woman, you can't just shoot for, you got to, you got to caress the whole thing. So sometimes right. you might have to take her out on four or five dates. Stop being right. cheap. You might have to take right. her out for 10 dates. But if you nurturing it properly, you know, something might happen after the 10th day. But anyway, <laughs> either way, you got to make sure that you're nurturing these relationships with these banks. They want to see that you could put money in there, hold it month to month. Remember, banks don't really have money, so you got to put it in there. You got to put exactly. it in there. And when you put and it you in there, these rewards. they'll re reward you. They'll upgrade your accounts. You'll get all kind of service. Oh, hey, Not Mr. Um, Mr. Good, how are you doing today? Um, Yes, we have a chair and some water for you. Would you like um some tea? <laughs> like, they're going to come Absolutely. out and give you the, the, the red carpet because they want that. They want to build that relationship. 
So you're going to have to park some money. All right, I'm going to shut up. Bernie, spit up. So, up. Look, shit, I got I got to play for you. I don't know if you ever dealt with Shelf Corpse. You ever dealt with Shelf Corpse? I'm getting I got, into it. I got I'm a learning. bunch of them. I got you a got bunch, a bunch from Colorado. You you, you yeah. build them out. You build them out, King. You do I've, all the I've build been, up. I've I've been doing them, but I'm I'm trying. I'm gonna be honest. My business credit program. I'm sh I'm trying to show people how to right. instead of me doing it because right now it's a lot of time, and you know that yourself. It's a lot of time. So so, so look, it's crazy. You, you, like, the funny thing is, I I don't know who I'm gonna run into. You know, I just jumped in on she this live just because you know this is this is family. That's crazy. And I don't know who I'm gonna run into, right? But real talk, I got I got the plug on the financing of those shelf course. Like I'm and I'm talking about like the whole build out. I got the I got the primary trade lines for the for the corporations. I got it all, like the whole package deal, bro. I'm not. I, this this is no cap. And the Ain't minimum, that crazy? the the minimum we getting people is five hundred, five hundred bands, minimum. You said crazy. You no said five hundred as a as hey, a half hey. million dollars, hold, hold like on, a half hold on, a million. Rashida, Rashida, everybody, stop talking, please. Y'all need to go follow him, follow <laughs> me, and follow Rashida if you haven't. I know some of y'all came from Mitch. Follow us, and you need to follow him, especially like if you can press follow twice on him. Do it right now. Yo, right now, I, 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 I'm about to I, press it twice. Hold up. Yo, <laughs> like bro. Follow, unfollow, follow again. My, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell you why he's saying that. I'm gonna tell you why he's saying that. I'm gonna tell you why he's saying that. And I'm not gonna boost myself up at all. But to be honest, I'm my energy when I met Bernie has always been like it was on some like we were at this we were at the content creation boot camp and it's different when you pay to be in the same room. You know the level of commitment people have in that room. And we spoke, and Bernie gave me like 10 to 15 minutes of straight game just to help me systemize and, and properly structure my credit repair business. Cause I told you, I'm always a student. I'm always a student. student and he first. helped me out so much, like, de like dead ass. Like, yo, if you, have, if you have questions, hit my number. And I'm like, he's like, what do you do? I said, I do credit repair, but my, my, the, my favorite thing that I do is I do credit to cash. I teach people how to travel for free, how to, how to, how to um, stay at hotels for free, how to, how to get money off these cars. Like, I don't pay my rent type stuff. And he was just like, yo, let's stay connected. The energy was pure. It was clean. To be honest, it was a trade of information. And when you got some, when you trade the information with people like this, they understand like, yo, like, you know something I don't know. Absolutely. I know something you don't know. We could barter this. On top of that, Absolutely. I like your energy. You, you, you a solid person. I met Tevin, same, same situation. That's why even me saying like, yo, y'all like, yo, me, yeah, yo, everybody's energy is good. People could tell when you giving valid information. Absolutely. And he asked, do you know about the shelf corpse? I'm not proficient in that to speak on that. Tevin's more, but now he know how to get you funded on the shelf corpse. How coincidental Yo. is that that we get on the same <laughs> side? How, it's like, how is that? It's how is that? And I'm and I'm not even bullshitting you, right? So with the business credit program, right? And this was and this was from me. I was gonna do this myself. The business credit program, each person that was gonna purchase into the business credit program, I was gonna buy them a shelf corp myself. Mm. Me. I was gonna get them a shelf corp. Like, yo, I understand with the foreign entity, it drops the years down to zero and you're starting back over, but I'll, I'll get it for you so you can understand that having that business set up properly now that you can go do your own business and set it up properly, LLC, EIN, Congress, everything, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. It's funny that you're saying that because I really wanted to do something like that. I wanted to find somebody that could fund these shelf corps so that you can understand the meaning of funding. Like we say in funding, mm -hmm. You you found them, you you found them. I have them. Yo, I, I, it's I, I it. Yo, I'm telling you right now. <sighs> yo, it's in Atlanta. Yo, go everybody go tag Atlanta here, doctor. It's not how this live. I was just talking about Shorty, like last, like a couple days ago. That up too. Busy. I don't know what happened with Sheeta. It's crazy, yo, Sheeta. I, it's funny. I literally, yeah, you, you. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. You can't hear me. Oh, now no, I hear you now. now. I hear you now. You said what? Now we can. Because this happens all the time on my lives. Everybody can hear everybody else, but I. It's all right. Instagram, Instagram so, being the most. So, so it's crazy. You mentioned the Atlanta hair doctor. I met her like, like, four weeks ago in Miami. At like uh Ciara's birthday party, Ciara Esquire met her. Oh, okay. uh, 
she's super cool, cool people's uh the Atlanta mm -hmm. doctor. She's definitely somebody that you could definitely pick up some gems from as well. Super, super cool people. But yo, to have lit literally Yo, I was just talking about her. Yeah, it's a small world. It's very, it's a really? very. And she just hopped on the live. I think she hopped back off, but she did. I was, I was about to try to snatch her up there because I was just talking about her. One, I was reading into her story. I watched one of her lives the other day, and it was just like, yo, you could turn what you could turn something that you love to do into a business. You could turn something that you like to do in a, into a business. Just don't treat it like a hobby. And I'm right. like, you could, you could even look at like I love um Shan's interview with that girl. I don't remember her name, but she got the the, the pum pum spray thing. That's why it's just makes it laugh. The sweet cookie wash <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? I didn't see that one. I didn't yeah, see that one either. It, oh, yo, the, it would be seated to see that. She got the, yo, the it was on the thing now. Nah, he she cause she was talking about it. She sounded like Nikki when she talked a little bit. But she was she was talking about like how like her product like is not something that you would think would be popular, but it's not the stereotypical thing. Like everybody's into Turo, Airbnb, like fun like uh truck and stuff like that it was sold to the left but it it still met like a a need in a way you know what i'm saying like it's still right. hit something that women would buy and she's killing it like they had a whole challenge and it literally says on the top like i make your girl pum pum smell nice and for a guy like would you buy that for yeah you would buy it the girl gonna buy it y'all gonna all have fun she's approaching a different dynamic and it was like yo you literally found something that's your niche like that was your niche and that could, if her name start, yeah, that interview was popping. And then I'm like, yo, then you got Atlanta Hair Doctor. She's teaching you how to use organic stuff for your hair in a different kind of way. And she's showing you results. Like, so don't think that your idea is whatever you have in your head to do is not dumb. Just go get LLC and make it an actual legal business. Make it a business structure and then find some funding so you can actually make your dream or your, you can execute your goals. But don't make it that you don't have the money to back up your idea because nah. you do, you got good credit. It's all. It, listen, there's so much. You gotta understand. There's so much. Um, like you have so much access in this day and age to to money. Money should, that should be the last thing that you, you're concerned about at this point. What it is, I'm gonna tell you what it is, Peter. People are scared of money. They're scared of money. Like when I say. never taught them like they never got taught what to do with some capital what to do with some money so now when they when we say yo you could go and get some money right to them they're looking at it they, the traditional way of getting money is earning money right you gotta earn it you gotta have it it's yours you gotta own it right so now when we say go get some money to them that's going debt that's the only thing they hear like yo i gotta go in debt to to, to get popping they don't Apple realize the debt. You got to realize every company you see is in debt. Every company, every company, everything that you see around you, every building, every car you see on the road, that's debt. That represents debt. You understand what I'm saying? So y'all got to understand it's a difference between positive debt and negative debt. If you go and run up a bag and you go to, to sex, that's negative. That's negative debt. Well, unless you ran the sex play. In my wallet. Unless in the sack play. In and unless you leverage in whatever clothes, whatever it is that you're going to get fly, unless you leverage in that for your brand, then that's different. But if you go and get fly, sit on the block and do all of that crazy shit, that I mean no sense. Debt. Now, if you go and get some debt and you go yeah. up into your brand to blow your brand, to blow you yeah. up, to, to look at you, the flex it. <laughs> this is the flex. Yo, yo, see the stop playing. I got this. Yo. I got most of these in one day. Stop Say playing. Stop um, playing. No Stop inquiry. Stop playing. No inquiry. Half of these cars I don't even use. My well, big guy. No look, inquiry. Man, they got the tag on them still. Oh, he got the book. They like the but my books in the crib. I keep these in the pocket. Listen. I got you, Sheeta. I'm here. I'm here. I'm telling we, you, I'm here. We Listen, we practice what we preach. Talk heavy. What's better than one platinum two? He said, "What's better than one platinum two? Listen, so so I don't have my credit card. I don't know if I can pull up my score. Or something. I don't know. I, <laughs> it's going to be Belfavo. It's going to be You got the swabby. Look, look. So anyway, now, and this is just my regular wallet. This is just my wallet. What's my in your wallet? 
So, 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 so let's plan. Yo, hood back. rich ain't gonna get you approved. Sorry, hood rich not gonna get you approved. Hood <laughs> checks bounce. <laughs> That's business funding at the all time high. So, all so right, when go ahead. My bad, Bernie. All right, it's, so good. it's so good, right? I I want the people to know that no idea, like like if you have an idea, if you're a visionary, it's just about learning how to bring that vision to light. You know what I'm saying? No Absolutely. idea. On, you know, you could you could literally bring anything. I've seen people have what would traditionally be a stupid right idea, and they take it and turn it into something. You understand what I'm saying? So it's really it's really no such that. Like I've literally made my money off of being the middleman, literally like being the middleman plug. Like I'm talking about yo, anything you need done. I'm going to get it done. Like, if you need your taxes done and you don't know who to go to, I'm going to get that done. I don't do taxes, but I'm going to make money. You better believe that. And I show people how to do the same thing, how to leverage relationships. You can make leverage in relationships. That's it. Like, if you know Sheeta, you can get paid off of knowing Sheeta. You, you, know you know what they call that? What's that? Affiliates. That's it. Mm. That's it. My, my whole course is on high-ticket affiliation. I was you, about know to say, you know what's crazy? It's crazy. It's stupid. You know, what, you know what's crazy? You know why Credit Karma give you your uh your your score for free? It's an affiliate Finish. website. That's why they That's... Are always saying, "Oh, you are pre-approved for this card because they want you to go through their site, get the card. They're gonna get paid from Discover, Cap One, or whatever. And whether they approve, that. whether they approve." Mm -hmm. Here's the crazy part, right? Here's the crazy part. I want to give, I want to give y'all. Gonna get money from. It. I want to give y'all a little gem, right? So I don't know if everybody here watches like uh um what is David Shan sleep what is it called uh social proof podcast? Yeah, social proof podcast. What most people don't realize is that those people that's on that like his guests that are on the show, this is a whole affiliate place. So what you're doing is you're watching a podcast, you're getting value, but you're low key watching like an infomercial. Y'all remember the infomercials at the end of the night? Like when you you up in the middle of the night and they still yeah you, and they just throw on something just right. this, you watching a high ticket infomercial at the end of every one of those podcasts you're gonna get sold something and you're gonna get you're, they're gonna let you know for a discounted rate because you're watching this you're gonna get this but at, but what's going on behind the scenes is at like on the bottom of that video there's an affiliate link so when you click that link. And you buy into, let's say, uh, Nehemiah Davis program, CEO, Matty J, whoever it is, David right. is getting paid off of that affiliate link. That's he, why they're on the show. Y'all have to understand the play within the play. Y'all got to understand what y'all are watching. So now, when most people think of affiliation, they think of Amazon. They think of the low, like you got to sell a bunch of products to, to actually get money. Nah, y'all gotta understand we're in the era, we're in the information era where nobody wanna go to college, everybody wanna mentor, everybody wanna coach, they're buying mentorship, they're buying all of these courses, right? So now if you can if you can wiggle your way into all of that, right? You are now, which is me, you are now the middleman to the plug. You went and did your due diligence, which courses is lit, which mentors is lit. Who's actually giving you value? You went and did all of the homework for these people. Now I'm gonna tell you which ones is what, which ones we, is fine. I'm they gonna validate paid. it for you, so you don't have to Absolutely. pick up on somebody who not who not Absolutely. producing results. Absolutely, Absolutely. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get paid for high ticket affiliation program. That's 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 literally me creating a business. It's creating a business model. I'm not reinventing the wheel. You better believe there's other people who've done this. Mm -hmm. Take whatever is whatever's in your mind, whatever that you have, whatever vision that you have, take that shit and turn it into a gold mine. You gotta understand, it's not hard. It's been done before. It's not really We telling y'all go for y'all shit. Like it's, that's it. Go for yours. That's it. And if you need money, you talking to three people right now on this live that can get money. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Easy. Not, not here to play with y'all. Here to keep talking spicy though. I said my little piece. I just wanted to. Nah, hold up, hold up. Before, hold up. Before you need, before we you need to cut you off earlier. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Before we see the head cut you off earlier, you was gonna say something about the shelf corpse. So no, I was telling you that 
I, I, uh, so after years of mm -hmm. going through, you know, there's, there's unicorns in this game that we play, right? Like, like, Absolutely. they got primaries. That's like a unicorn. That's like, like literally finding a unicorn. For real. To, for those who don't know what a primary is, a primary is like an authorized user trade line. Are y'all still there? Because y'all was buffering just now. Yeah, nah, we, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You was buffering. Too. So, so mm -hmm. a primary account is where we add a, a trade line onto your business account and it, it's backdated and it's already paid for. We're just adding it to your business account and it shows up as if you've paid off your this, this big account. It could be an auto, it could be, you know, it could be a commercial, house. commercial real estate. It'd be exactly. some bigger the trade line, the more it costs, obviously. Mm -hmm. But I was telling shit, but I found the unicorns. I finally found the unicorns. So now, plug, it, it came with the unicorns, which is the, the primary, and it comes mm -hmm. with funding. You understand what I'm saying? So now this the literally has um, access to right? But they have a small list of like 15 banks that they really, really get busy with. Like they really get busy with. So we know, we know the exact criteria that we need for these built out shelf corps. You understand? So we're taking those shelf corps and we getting people funded within 60 to 65 days, bro. Like, like it, it's really that simple from beginning to end. We're That's getting crazy. And I'm talking about 500,000, 500,000 is like our low, our low ticket. That's, that's like, crazy, and I and, and this is no cap. I'm not. I'm not one of them people that speak before you know before my term. Right. I'm. I'm telling you, like no cap, five hundred thousand. No, I gotta tap. I gotta tap in with you for sure, yeah. King. I'm only speaking to people who know what this is. It. You know what I mean? Like if I talk to regular people, they they're gonna, not gonna understand. Like, they're not gonna understand. Like I got three heads. You know what I'm saying? Like what especially because. They said after unicorn. They said after unicorn, my G, you found Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hold on, I gotta see. <laughs> nah, that's no cap. Like, um, we... like if you know what I'm talking about, y'all know that I'm not bullshit, y'all. Y'all know I'm not bullshit. It's hard to find. Like those are hard to find, and not only do we have them for the business, we have them for the personal. But that's insane. yeah, nah, I gotta for sure because I I really got like I got them like I got a whole site like it's wholesale mm -hmm. to me. Mm hmm. That's insane. Yeah. Yo, I'm telling you, yo, hold on, Rashida, my my fault, Rashida. What did we say this morning? What what was it? What was it again? Yo yo was, yo yo yo. So it's 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 almost morning seven mindset o'clock. Coffee. That, that the affirmation of the day every day every day every I day six time I gotta say it again at nine o'clock we do it three six and nine the affirmation I don't care everybody gonna know it you are gonna say it every day I promise you money gonna fall out the sky all right mm -hmm. money comes to me or matter of fact uh -uh, remix money flows to me easily frequently abundantly, abundantly. and in ever increasing amount mm. money flows to me easily. Frequently, frequently, abundantly, and, abundantly, and in an ever-increasing ever amount. amounts. Money, mm. flows to Money comes easy, supposed to be easily, frequently, frequently and abundantly, and in an ever-increasing ever amount. amount. Say that one more three, six, one and nine time. throughout the day. You might even put it out in your one laundry. Time. We gotta, yo, we got to give it to him one more time. Huh. One more time. Then, I gotta go to, then we got to go to six because it's three, six, or nine. Hey, we doing That's six. Good. We doing six. six, six, six. Even my baby six. girl the baby said six. six. The baby said six. The baby said six. We doing it three yeah. more times then. Six, I gotta say it. Comment. Put a six in the comment. Put, this, put a six in the comment, everybody. Put a six in the comment. For real, for real. This, yeah, this right here. Yo, I'm hot. I'm hot, bro. I'm. I'm hot. I got my, chills I'm, and I'm hot. My damn so Every time my, I say my it, my blood flowing. Like I feel it. We had that conversation this morning, and Bernie come on the live. I haven't talked to Bernie in a week. Bernie coming alive, talking about giving a half a mil. Tapping them and getting money from these banks. Mm. 
Mm. These banks ain't been telling this man no. This bank, these banks have not been telling this man no. They haven't. It's these funny. banks have they been. They've they been busting it wide open for this man. Okay. It's crazy. Let's go. We got, we got sick. We got some sixes. All right, we going. We going again. We going again. I'm in the middle of the street. I don't even care. Like I got people looking at nah, me like crazy. Nah, you gotta let the Let's people go. outside know. Let's go. Money, Money flows to me easily. easily. Money flows to me. Abundantly. abundantly and an Abundant. ever, ever increasing amount. amount. And ever increasing amount. One more time. We got Money two more flowing. times. Money two flows more time. easily, to me easily, easily, frequently, frequently abundantly, abundantly, and an ever, ever increasing, increasing amount. amount. One more time, y'all. One more time. Nah, you gotta say this one your test a little bit. Last you one. Feel it a little bit. All right, right. Money flows to me easily, easily, flows to me frequently. frequently Abundantly, abundantly, abundantly and an ever increasing, increasing amount. 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 Let's go every Get day. It. Let's go. Get every it every day. I, 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 Tell them, let's go. I got me going. Listen, I, I, I didn't listen. My, my affirmations is different. You know what I'm saying? But listen, I'm tapped in. I'm tapped in a hundred percent. I don't know if y'all saying this with us in these in these comments. Y'all better get busy. I, I see this. That I know, but sometimes I be forgetting to say it. Sometimes when you, when you, when you on a certain level, I'm saying the shit inside of an S550 Benz. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes when we in this le on this level, we be forgetting to say our affirmations. But y'all got to tap in. Like let's let's like, go. It, it, yo, it make your blood feel something. Like your you know blood feel. I, yo, how do, yo, how do, I'm sorry, but how does science equate to your brain? Saying something and your blood feels it like mm. it's a hit different. Mm. If y'all ever just think about it, like for real, like science that's insane. You saying something can make your body feel something. Feel Absolutely. Absolutely. Yo, hold up. We got questions. Especially we got questions. Me. We got questions. What can I do with a 665 credit score? You you gotta you gotta get that fixed up. We yeah, gotta you gotta get that fixed up. We gotta we gotta look at it. We gotta see what's wrong with it. That we gotta see we gotta see what's we gotta see what's wrong with it. Everybody on here do credit pair. Whoever whoever resonates with you, go tap in with them. And you also, we it. also gotta sure. see if it's because of derogatories or it's because of utilization. If it's because of utilization, go pay your cards down. Yep. She just got in the building. So yeah, for real, your credit score, whoever, whoever it is that you resonate with, like she said, uh, go look at the scores, right? If we know we can't get we can't get past the the the, the specifics of delinquencies or accounts or collections or um they, charge offs, pay your like card. That, we, we we know we know we know who to send you to because we we have somebody that deals with specifically with consumer law. And um, he 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 don't play, he don't play. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, we can hear you now. We can hear you now. She said it's utilization. If it's utilization, just go pay your cards down yeah. before the statement date. Oh, I can't see that. Why not? You okay, yeah. If it's utilization, go pay. Yeah, you got you got to start paying your cards now. Start start creating a plan. Just the same way everybody creates a business plan. How we want to save money for, towards goals. You gotta start creating these plans to pay to pay your cards down. Yo, I'm about to, I'm about to create a, a a program. I started off doing. I started off helping people, so I went and got a gang of money, and I started off helping people with their utilization, right? And I charged them on the back end of their funding deal. You know what I'm saying? So so just just that alone, if you come in and you got, let's say you you in the and you in debt ten k. And you just can't get out of it because you you work in a regular job or whatever the case may be. Um, we used to we used to bring people in. We'll pay your utilization down, take you in for a funded deal, and then charge you on the back end of that. That's only for people who's serious and they know that they want to do something with this with this money. You know what I'm saying? And if you qualify, you can't have no derogatories on you. You can't have anything. There's always ways to make money, and this is this is a play for y'all too. If you sitting around with some bread and you know a friend who want to get some funding and you know, you know them, you trust them and they need utilization decrease. That's, that's a way for you to make money. You got to understand you can help them bring their utilization down. They go in for funding,
go and run up a bag of hundred bands. You paid them, ten, you know, ten thousand. And now here's the thing, right? Let me back up. Let me slow up. You bring their utilization down for ten thousand, right? Now you just became the bank. You know where to send them to go get some get some funding, right? You go, they go get a hundred k off of your off of your plug. Then what happens is you charge them on the back end. Whatever that is, whatever you decide between you and them, it may be 20%. You just made $20,000 off of 10,000. I mean, probably $2,000 off of $10,000. You understand? Because sometimes people just need their utilization decrease in order to qualify for funding. That's you understand? True. They just don't. So if you got the money and you could help them out, you just figured out a way to, to, to make 2,000, 20% off of your $10,000. That's a play right there for y'all. Y'all got to understand there's money in everything. For sure. And and you talking about that, like, I, if I'm going to be completely honest, so I, I know a couple of, uh, uh, you know, of Jews in my area. I'm in Far Rockaway. Uh -huh. So, like, if y'all don't know what hard money lendings, what merchant cash advance, like, all right, we giving out, if we giving out sauce tonight, for real, like, I know a couple of Jews that got brokerage for merchant cash advance. Right now, if I give them a hundred thousand, I can make my money back weekly. Mm. Hold up. We got somebody that said I got a five fifty four credit score. I just got out and I'm fucking hungry. Excuse my language and I repeated it. <laughs> Look, you got three people right here. Matter of fact, you know who might resonate with you too? And I'm I'm always a like, listen. The people that I've been meeting up with and literally tapping in with, they are such good energy. If you find, um, there's this guy, he was in a, he, it's a story. He was in a pen tool. He tapped in, started doing crypto, NBA sparks. That motherfucker is the fucking truth when it comes to learning. And that's his thing. He actually does like a mentorship for felons. So I would tap in with him because he does, he does credit repair. He does credit repair too. I would tap in with him. Mm. And see if he's still doing it because he was doing it for free. Mm. That's fine. Yeah. Sparks with a sparks with a Z. Yeah, I see how y'all just got gems when, when when this information is being passed around. She didn't recommend anybody that's on this live right now. She recommended somebody else. That's value. You gotta understand that's value. That's how it gotta be between all of us. It can't just be like, yo, I'm trying to I'm trying to snatch up everything for myself. That's when you're operating from a space of lack. You know what I'm saying? Like she's, we just said it six times. She's operating in abundance. You understand? Um, somebody asked earlier, how do I get the money off of the Apple card? Now I, I got my way. I want to hear from y'all if it's if we on the same level. Like they trying to extract the money off of the card. Um, for the guy, I got you. For the guy, um, who said that? Who asked that question? Cousin, La yo, he cousin Larry. <laughs> Yo, I'm weak. <laughs> um, <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, hold up, Bernie. You haven't been on my live like that, but I have no. a character that I named Uncle Larry. And Cousin, Uncle, Larry Uncle Larry. Uncle that been stealing your social since you was younger. Stealing your social <laughs> and been wilding on I your I say credit. it all the time, yo. Uncle Larry <laughs> that took your social. Live. And that's why you overrising money since 2001, but you was five. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so right now, he said he right, cousin, yo. cousin Larry Mikhail, uh, Mikhail wrote it down for you NBA Sparks follow him um, tap in see if he's still doing his fellow mentorship on, on guy like solid dude he's all about like starting with nothing flipping it he's killing it in crypto tap in with him and he'll, he'll help you out like he does a lot and that's pretty much get the ebook Uncle Larry yeah hell yeah that too <laughs> he does a lot with that but the question was, sorry, I got freaking sick. <laughs> Yo, that was funny. So, so, so the question was, how do I, if I have an Apple card and I'm trying to get the money off of it and I'm trying to extract some of that cash off of that card, how would I go about that? That was one of the questions. That was that, It was a question that was a while ago. I forget who asked it, but. All right, so this is the play I give away. This is the play I give away. The rest of them I don't. This is the play I give away. You could go and you could go get, this is the Walgreens play. You go to Walgreens, you could tap to pay with your Walgreens, with your Apple card at Walgreens. Apple gives you 3% cash back at Walgreens, right? They give you 3% cash back. So, matter of fact, y'all got to share this live, get this over 60 people, because y'all playing. I'm about to give y'all a play, a Walgreens, right. 
I don't see a lot of people sharing. The, I ain't going to hold you. It's about to be 730. So y'all I know. Gotta hurry. I go, I'm going at 725. They're going to be on here for this talk. And if y'all think I'm crazy on the lives, imagine when you tap in for real, for real. Mm -hmm. So, so here we go, right? <clears throat> the Apple Play gives you 3% cash back at Walgreens. So, if you go get $100 worth of gift cards, right? It's $100 worth of gift cards. Not $100. $1,000 worth of gift cards. You buy two. They look like this. Unless I left them in my room. Right? You go get the gift cards. That's $1,000. That's 3% 000. of 1000 is $30. Now, you can't think about it as it being 30 bucks, though. Because that's you thinking about small. Everything starts small and it grows. All right? So now you go, you get the thousand, right? But ten times a thousand is ten thousand. Ten times ten thousand is a hundred thousand. So now you don't run up your Apple card getting these cash back. The fees is about twelve dollars for real for real. It's a little higher, but it's cool because they give you higher percentage cash back. So you're making it back this way. If you're able to tap into their areas in your in your location. You could turn them gift cards into money orders. Don't be stupid. If you really want to know how to do it, like OD, OD, walk through, walk through, classes tonight. You go ahead. Say, you got to gotta go tap in. You get money orders for those. What are money orders? Money orders are prepaid checks. They're prepaid checks. If you need cash for a deal, you have it from your phone. And if that deal makes you money, you got money twice because you got money from the cash back. Because if you do one hundred thousand, that's three thousand dollars. What's the rent? Can I can I can I give them can I give them a a, a a super simple saucy play? Go ahead. Super simple saucy. Listen, I want us to think like just think logically. Right? Let's just think logically. We're not gonna we're not gonna overthink it. We're not gonna listen. If you have a business, if you have a business, right? Business means that we exchange value for, for, for money, right? So if I have a business, let's say I have a business where my business is credit repair and I have a, a I have a, a Apple card, you gotta understand I could literally let's say if she didn't need her credit repair. And I wanted to do her a favor and just do it for her. My business still got to make money. I'm going to swipe my credit card with my business. And then the, the money goes into the account, into my account. No one knows if I gave she the free credit repair, if I paid for it out of pocket, how that play went down. The money is in your account. Just, just have a business. You got to have a business. You got to have a merchant account. You got to have a merchant account. It's really simple. A lot of people, they not realizing, like, like all right, I don't know how to extract the cash, but you got to understand, if you have a business and you have a merchant account, that's half the battle. Now, I'm not telling you to go get, go get crazy and just keep swiping and swiping. That's when you're going to get yourself in trouble. But I'm saying that if you have a business and you wanted to, you know, let's say, let's say you, you sold dogs. <laughs> let's say you sold bullies for $5,000 a pop. And you wanted to buy your mom's a bully. You went and swiped your credit card to buy your mom's a bully. $5,000. Where does the money go? Into your business account. That's your money. I'm not giving y'all anything crazy. I'm just letting y'all know that get your merchant account up. Get your business up. That's it. It's half the battle. Spend the money with yourself. No bullshit. Absolutely. That's another, that's another play. That's another yeah. play. Yeah, for sure. If, you, if we... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Authorize.net, they're going to run your credit report. They're going to run your credit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I use credit uh, um, authorize.net just because I, I like that seal. I like for people to know that I'm I don't got a lot of chargebacks. I put that seal on my website. No, this is not. You know what I'm saying? It, it takes a special pe a special uh, person or a special business owner to be a part of Authorized.net. This ain't just regular Stripe. I'm not knocking Stripe. I'm not knocking none of them joints. 
But authorized.net, they they definitely do their due diligence. Hello. They send somebody to the they send somebody to your office or your house. Say it again. They send somebody to your spot. Oh yeah, absolutely. You gotta be legit. Yeah, they don't play. They don't play at all. Especially in the credit space. <laughs> they so are pulling see, up on you. Yeah, if you sure. see somebody authorized.net still know that they do good business. That's that's why I rock with them. And and if, and if we talking for real, like Rashida, she she gave me a play, and and this is ten thousand. I'm gonna just say that it was ten thousand dollars. I liquidated easy. Mm. That's a, that's just a little bit. Cause that's I don't like fees. Bit. I ain't gonna lie, I'm cheap. And that was that was <laughs> a, that was the um that was my man Simon. You know what I mean, yo Simon, was, giving it up. I don't like fees yeah, for real. I don't. But you know, it, it is what it is. But most times nowadays I don't really leave the house to MS like that. I don't. Jimmy said I'm supposed to be on his live right this second. Jimmy on live? Jimmy's on live. Tell Jimmy we're gonna have to schedule this tomorrow because I have class in 16 minutes. And my students been texting me while I'm on the live, but you know how my lives act sometimes, so I can't go back and forth. They're emotional. What's your, what's your class about, Sheeta? For this last 16 minutes, tell the people what your class is about. So the class is called Credit to Cash. I teach you guys how to... Oh, sorry. But before we get started, they keep asking about the taxes. Hit a thing, though. Go link in my bio, group called Credit to Cash. You should still be able to buy in, and then you get the link to come inside. So you have to remember, you have to remember, when you do these plays, there's a card expense that still has to be paid off. There's a card expense that still has to be paid off. That's why these places don't don't let nobody sit here and tell you, oh, well, that you can't do that, and that's gonna be taxes. I got tax people on payroll that will tell me different. They're gonna tell you to keep your documents. Absolutely. Keep your paper trail. Where did the money come from? Where did it go back to? Was it an expense? So if Yo, I decide, so if I decide, let's tap this, right? Because this is when I first got put onto this. This was the example I got, and it was crazy. I, I, I honestly, I bought that guy's stuff information within like freaking two minutes. I'm like, nah, I know this to be true because I heard people, I heard people talk about it in different circles, and I didn't understand what they was talking about until he said it. And I said, oh, shit, that's what they was talking about. Because I went to school with Italians and Irish people. I went to school with John Gotti's grandkids. And I used to always be in their house by the office when they sit down, yell at the computer for three hours. I was always over there. I was a black, I was a good black friend. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was a good black friend. <laughs> okay, Rashida from Brooklyn. And I and I I don't know if I learned how to be like in the room and listening from then. Cause I used to always go want to be around their parents. Like I didn't like they were cool, but like, you know, what the hell are they talking about? Cause the reason why you got a range and your mom let me drive it is because they're doing something right. So what are they doing? And I learned from, I remember them talking conversations. Oh, we're going to send you, we're going to wire you this money. Da, 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 da. They'll wire it, they'll send this and send that, charge this, charge that. Because they're going to get it back. It's an exchange of funds. So if I mm -hmm. charge 60K on my credit card, honest to God, he told me this. He said when he first started, he started like three or four LLCs. Some of them he opened up in different uh, states that was private, right? He opened up bank accounts for them, had business credit cards. He used to use some of his businesses to fund his other businesses while he was doing deals. So you got business A, you got business A. Business A is going to give you, um, let's say business uh, business A is Bernie Good Financials. Then you got Essential ABC Solutions. Then you got Sheet of Three Credit, credit to Cash, right? Sheet of Three is going to pay Bernie 60000 for a consultation. Now, I got to make sense. If you want to pay him for a service, you got to whatever, make a shit look good on paper. But I'm paying, I'm charging him 60,000 for a service. Why? Because he needed 60K to go do a freaking cash deal and he needed the money to come from somewhere. Cause you can't drop 60K in your bank account and the banks don't look at you crazy. Mm -hmm. This is not financial advice. I'm passing on what the people them told me, okay? <laughs> this is what the people <laughs> them told me. And Let's I don't need to go back fair. and have I, I get my tax my tax plug to go ahead and, and verify me a hundred percent. I'm gonna go back and she gonna she watches all my lives, so I got y'all, right? 
Now, business, I'm gonna pay Bernie 60K because Bernie need to go buy this cash deal, get this, get this money flipped in, right? Now, say hypothetically, I do um I got zero percent on the card or whatever. So I got I got 12 months with no interest. Bernie got 12 months to pay me back, no interest, or pay whatever card he got back or himself back for the other business, no interest, right? Because it's zero APR. Now he got mm -hmm. another business. He got another business on the other side. We got e essential ABC solutions. He need to fund another deal from that. But this business has got 60K. He could leverage 60K he got in this business over here to get him more money for essential ABC. You, it's a, it's a circle. It's why we keep saying you got to get these LLCs. Good credit, LLCs, means a lot of money. He literally was funding himself for like, he said, I did it for like five years. Built up real estate. He was into, um, he had a computer chip thing back in the day, but that's how he funded it. Mm -hmm. Granted, he's Italian. I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say. Sometimes these banks is not discriminatory. I'm not gonna sit here and say that. It's not true. However, as of late, you could go run the same shit. Yeah. Tell me, I'm if, lying. Nah, you. you know, I'm, I'm product of that. Hey, I'm product of that. Fund your own shit. Yo, I fund. I have. I have. How, how much? How much business bank accounts I got? One, two, three, four, five, six. I got six business bank accounts. Six business bank accounts. I found all of them. I move that cash around like there's no tomorrow. And guess what? They all look at me and look like, okay, so this is how much you got coming in. This is how much you got going out. Yada yada yada. Can we offer you some money? What what else do you need from us that we can that we can potentially provide you so that you can build on that capital? Absolutely. They love that. They want to, like, and, and I and I always say it, and I know people be like, nah, the banks don't want to give it. They want to give the money, especially after pandemic. Absolutely. They, need to, they need to recoup their money. Yeah, they need to keep that money. You know, I'm, banks I'm don't have legs, right? Banks don't have legs. They can't put in the work. They need right. you to do it. Absolutely. People don't understand that these, like, interest rates and all of that, it's how the, the country keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like you owing me and me paying on that with this is how the country works. Whole country's in debt off of this. The same the same system. You're not special. Don't think that you're gonna just go. I always ask people, how far can the money that's in your bank account right now, how far can it take your business? Like your personal money. And that's no disrespect to anybody. I don't know what's in your bank account. What's in your wallet? I don't care if you got a hundred K take your business. It's not, we're not talking about personal. We're not talking about regular stuff. I'm talking about how far can the money that's in your bank account right now with no help, no business funding, no lending, nothing. How far can that money really take your business? You got to think about that. Every yeah. business that you know of is yep. that. And it's okay. Yep. That's how the country is ran. So the sooner that you wrap your mind around that, the better off you're going to be. Stop thinking you're special. You're, you're not, not special. I'm not sorry. special. I'm not special. I'm not special. You're that. not. You're, you're not. not special. Go and use the people's money. When you put your money in the bank, there are people right now using your money. They we, 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 we talked about it yesterday. We talked about it yesterday. There is no, listen, hole. when you put your money in the bank, if you put $100,000 in the bank, tomorrow you only have technically $10,000 in that bank Absolutely. account. They're yeah, spending 90% 90 of your money. It's not there. It's not. Life over. insurance and stocks. You it's ever like, noticed? Hold, right, hold up. Hold on, hold on. My fault. Nah, Rashida. Nah, nah, Go ahead. Nah, I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Y'all nah, got, nah, got nah, six nah. minutes. Y'all got six got, minutes of source. Y'all got me started right now. That 90000 is in life insurance. Every single employee of Bank of America, Chase, and Wells Fargo, all these banks have life insurance on every single employee. After an employee dies, they have a million dollar or 100000 500 whatever type of life insurance they got on you. Guess what? They tell you. Oh my God, we're gonna give you ten thousand when you pass away. You're gonna give you twenty thousand. That's the life insurance you technically have. They're only giving you ten thousand out of the money that they put on you. You you have five hundred thousand on your head for working for them. Mm. So they just got five four hundred and ninety thousand off of you passing away because you ain't wanna get life insurance. 
because you thought your bank that you work for, that you love, loved you back. Mm. Nah, they don't. And two, and we talking about going back from the APR, how the, how the government is trying to raise money. Before, and I said this previously, actually, no, I said this earlier on live. Before COVID, no doc loans, that means no documents, your EIN, your LLC, uh, pay, I mean, EIN, your LLC filing receipt, your articles of organization, you could go to Bank of America and get 150 to 200,000 on a no doc loan. Mm. You can go to Chase, private client, and you can get 250,000 on a no doc loan. This was prior to COVID. This is prior to COVID, right? I spoke, I, and I had this meeting with a small business banker today in Bank of America, in Bayside. I'm giving out the bank now. In Bayside, his brother works for Chase Private, private Client. They stopped doing no doc loans because guess what? All these businesses foreclosed. They foreclosed on their business. They closed down, bankrupt, everything. Mm. They and guess what? Now they just they got a they got two hundred and fifty thousand. They got a hundred fifty. They got two hundred. However much money they took from that no doc loan, they foreclosed on that business, and now they just got it. Guess what? Now you see all these companies buying up SPACs, like SPAC, SPAC companies, special property acquisition companies. They're buying up real estate because because guess what? Now they're taking that money that they just foreclosed on, and they bankrupt their whole business. They are taking that same money and buying real estate. They putting it into these companies, and now they're buying life insurance. They're getting they're getting their money back. They're putting the money in so that they can gain their money back because they know with life insurance, you put the certain amount in, you can take up 80% of the value of your life insurance. Sorry, I'm not a life insurance agent. You got to go talk to one. You're giving them too much sauce, huh? My fault. I'm sorry. You're giving them... That's what I said. It's the, it's, when, I start, when I start getting into it, I feel Here, it. Here's the thing, right? Listen, this is not to tell y'all to go and try to <laughs> Cause some people go hear these plays, and they gonna right. take, it and they gonna be like, "Nah, you told me to go. We no. not and try to defraud the banks. We just telling you facts of what was happening. What was, you know what I mean? Right. And that's the truth. Like a hundred percent. We telling y'all, don't. I feel like I'm on a game show. Ooh, nah, y'all have a question. Do y'all you know how to long. turn? Do y'all know how to turn the sound off of the MacBook text? Oh, oh, um, nah, mm -hmm. you just gotta put that joint on mute. My fault. How do you yes. put it on mute? The, the, well, you the, got whole the sound on, I can't turn the notifications the, off because it's annoying as hell. You got the pro with the thing? The touch yeah. Ball? It's right here. Press yeah, the little, right the little joint. Not right the here. sound bar, but I'm saying is that if I turn the sound off, then oh, I can't yeah. hear what my students when I'm on the thing. I just want to turn the message notifications like that sound off. Oh, it's on the top. It's the task bar. That little task bar at the top. I think you can turn off the notifications if I remember. I, I did it once before, but I don't remember. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember completely. I'm sorry, that it's been it, it's annoying, right? It's like ding, ding, <laughs> like yo. He said I'm part of a game show. I didn't even know. <laughs> My bad. Like, yo, like I was like yo, every time he dropped the bar, I was like ding. I was like oh, it's lit. <laughs> oh, they knew. They knew what it was. They knew what it was. I was like, she got the little button in the background, like. Sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was a podcast for a second. Yo, listen, listen. Tevin <laughs> telling y'all facts. These banks is only holding 10% of your money. Y'all don't realize that when you got to go extract, like, more cash, like, if you go to the bank, right? I put 100000 in cash in this bank, and when I, I put it in, it goes in in two seconds. If I got to take it out, it takes three days. Yep. Three. They got to go find they it. Gotta, uh, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> like, that's insane. Ain't that insane to you? That's, that's the same thing. Money. If we talking about credit, too, if y'all ever think about this, right? And I'm gonna give you this because I know Rashida gotta get off, right? If y'all think about this, when they negatively report on your account, guess how fast that negative report come on? Mm. Instantly. Instant. When they what? <laughs> but when you gotta report something, when you paid off a balance, when you delete, when you're deleting something, unless you call them and y'all know the word, mm -hmm. y'all know the play, we know the play. Yep. But, that's the only time it will come off instantaneously. But if not, you're going to have to wait them 30 days, bro. Yeah, absolutely. you to have to wait them 30 days, bro. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Hey, man. Y'all got to follow us. Follow Sheeta. 
She got credit to cash coming on right now at seven thirty. She uh-huh. got her ebook is live. Y'all, y'all better go cop that for real. I spent ten thousand on mm. Simon. Liquidated mm. that easy. No fees either. We love them. No fees. No fees. We love them. No fees. No Absolutely. fees. Fees for oh, what? For fees for Absolutely. what? Yo, listen, everybody, everybody that locked in, we super appreciate y'all. I, I, I really was coming on here to just be a guest because I every time, every time I come into Sheeta's live, I learn something. I learn something new. You know what I'm saying? Like as she told y'all before, we, we like first day we met, we was passing value to each other. Like just we didn't know we was gonna meet each other at the, you know what I mean, at the content creation boot camp, but. You know when you when you 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 get that discernment when you know you're around somebody else of like mindedness, and that's what it was from day one. And now, like I said, she is in my course. Trev, I wish I wish I would have known you sooner because it sounds like you got a gang of knowledge as well. But this yeah, I, is the last course, this ain't gonna be the last skip the line. So you know what I mean. Next ver next go round. Oh my man, pulling out. <laughs> What's the? These are his books. These are your books. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I'm about to say, I'm, I'm I'm I say bro, you published. You ain't tell nobody. Look, look, look. I'm about to say, boom, hold on. <laughs> but nah, 100%. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you pulled the books out because y'all got to understand that, like, all of this, not, like, all of this information, all this value, it, it be inside of the books that people scared to read, man. These be roadmaps. Y'all got to understand, like, success leaves clues. So, I'm not the smartest guy in the room. Trev not the smartest guy in the room. She does not the smartest guy in the room. You gotta understand that nope. we just get value and we pass it on. This this is the same information that's readily available to y'all. Y'all choose to watch what y'all want to watch on YouTube. Y'all choose to scroll and see what y'all want to see on Instagram. So everybody who stayed locked in with us on this live. We super appreciate y'all. Yeah, that means that y'all really, really want something more than to see ass cheeks clapping on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> look, she done like, yo, you took it there. Look. She done, don't do that. More, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all want more value than what's given up. So <laughs> we appreciate y'all, yo, for real, for real. Like, for real, for real. Nah, and, and, and you know, I know she did, she's on her she's on her class right now, so I'm going to try to help her close her out. Like I said, get that ebook. She just dropped that. She just dropped that. Get the ebook, uh, fam. You you got you got a you got a course coming. You said correct. Yeah, it's called Skip the Line. Skip the Line. Go follow him. He, he's probably gonna be dropping videos to let y'all know what's going on, what, when it's coming. Uh, Hold up! Somebody asked how to get into the into the class. In the link in my bio, right below the ebook, it says "Credit to Cash Class." If you like paying for flights, do not take my class. If you like traveling for free, take my class. Dude, exactly. And, you- and 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 yeah, no, nah, she's 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 speaking facts. And with 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 everything she's saying, she's true to it, and she don't play. And that credit to cash, she don't play. I got the business credit program coming. I'm I'm shooting for December first. It's, it's gonna be a a close group mentorship to help y'all build this business credit. And now that. I got the self court plug. It might be. I, I'm not gonna lie. It might be a problem now for real. It's not been my, a problem. Might, not, you might have to. You might have to. You might have to charge them more. I if might. You, listen. If if you if you put that in there, you might have to charge them more, bro. I'm not even gonna hold you. I, and I don't even know what. I don't even know what your your program is going for right now. I just know. Bro, that's his
I'll tap in with you at nine o'clock. Sheeta, I appreciate you for letting me share this space with you. Um, yo, you you pure value, yo. You pure value. We got students coming on to the class. Why you not here? Why you not here? <laughs> why you not in the class? We got yo. why you not in the class? She Sheeta, why you yelling at me? Same thing. I gotta, I gotta take, I gotta take my ass upstairs. I, I literally in been in this car this whole time. I was just telling Trev, like I, I was on a Zoom call with a client, and I was supposed to go upstairs. I seen you went live, and I'm like, hold on, let me, let me stop it real quick. And right, I've been once you go in the building, phone. you gonna lose the service. <laughs> Yo, oh, if y'all ain't tapping to this class yet, I'm gonna tell y'all right now: get some water, get a plate of food. Because we're going to be here for a minute. <laughs> Get your notes. Absolutely. All right, All right yo. Now. It's been real. We got book title. Listen, listen. If you ain't follow everybody in this live yet, y'all sleeping. I got credit to cash class right now. If you ain't tap in yet, I, I got people from yesterday that had come back and get the source again. Mm. He came okay. back for the double source. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, I got to go. I got to go. Bernie, Tevin. All of y'all, cousin Larry. <laughs> cousin Larry. Nah. All right, y'all. <laughs> yo, the funniest shit. All right, yo. Peace out. She the threes out here. Out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Four seventeen ish. Four seventeen ish. Follow the Central's ABC in my bio. Follow the Central's ABC. How you get in solutions. the? How you get in the class? You go on the link in my bio. You click credit to cash group call. And you and get in money. today. It's gonna close out today, but you get on for Sunday and learn how to flip these cars. All right, peace out, y'all. Peace.